on who's coming out on top uh but at the end of the day i'm curious to see if we get this kung lao on kung lao action in this top eight i think that's gonna be my hot take is that we'll see a kung lao duo in top eight but who takes it you know i got a feeling i'm gonna lean on the safe bet of johnny cage taking it backed up with yeah, who knows what. I mean, if you're if you're pinpointing character players, uh, you know, Pulse and then Splash and the Loud, those are two very big options that we might see happen. But Auxiliary wasting absolutely no time on a quick whiff punish, starting off yes. with that back one and going for the hard knockdown. Doesn't get it, but still got 36. Stupa on the Natara here, opening up for a nice starter with Goro to back you up. I think this is a good call, but also this stagger pressures. Auxiliary has a little bit of time here to kind of wait this out, get used to the patterns. Nice block on the overhead here from Dupa. Yeah, good job blocking that too. You do not want to get caught. You get comboed off a of pretty easy there. And this is a pretty common combination of seeing a lot more of late with Belina, especially after Hourglass and Rain's performance. But the loud, right. uh, this is another one. Uh, as we, oh, this is a full combo. Wait a minute, hold up. Before we get to that point, Fatal Blow's on lock. You, you don't drop this, that is the round. Doesn't even need Fatal Blow to get this. Oh, okay. You didn't, you did, I. You could you know, just without it. Just to guarantee, I feel like it's one of those vulture things, right? Because that moment yeah. you feel like you want to go into it. Unfortunately, if for anybody who doesn't know, uh, this fatal blow scales is so bad. <laughs> you get Bro. no damage off of it at all. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, safe to spend it. You're not likely going to use it at all, if ever. So if there's a time to use it where there's a guaranteed death, that's the time to do it here. Good break here from Auxiliary. Yeah, I'm not too surprised to see the Goro combination too after oh what we God. just saw this last weekend. Goro mm -hmm. plus Natara is looking like the way. Alright, good low block here. It's so tough because Natara just takes that back step, forces you to whip a button, and she closes the gap so quickly. She really does. That's the big thing with her. Like, even with that reduction in damage, uh, it, it going down to 850 here alongside Goro, but it doesn't matter because if you got the movement, you got the pressure. If you never get hit, that, that health don't matter. Yeah, th that's a very true fact, right? Like, she's reasonably scaled in terms of health because of the amount of damage that she could put out. Also, how difficult she could be to kind of contend with here. Um, I was just saying off stream, you know, the, the secret sauce here, if Natara likes to take the skies on you, this up block is going to be your best friend. Y'all know that is the catchphrase here on a TNS Thursday. Up block for a great defense, but in this matchup alone, Dupa did not give any opportunity for an up block outside of a couple overheads here in this match. So, I mean, that's a good start here for Dupa to kind of control the pace, condition the opponent, and not really look for those opportunities in this next round. Yeah, also, for anybody who happens to know this reference, I am look I was looking at Natara's like color scheme and outfit there. It reminds me so much of the Wind Dragon from Legend of Dragoon. That whole anybody who knows what I'm talking about. You are the best because that game is beautiful. That one interrupt, able to steal a turn with this route here with the Kung Lao pickup as well, too. Uh, yet again, missing the hard knockdown. That's usually where you get that free setup along with the hat. But something auxiliary has been doing mostly is actually been utilizing the spin from Kung Lao to get the combo extenders yeah. rather than actually set up low hat. Whoa. Wasn't ready for that overhead here. Beautiful cartwheel from auxiliary and a strong start. But yeah, I mean, both playing the Swift Punish game here, overextending is, uh, you know, Auxiliary here trying to get that cartwheel interrupt. We wanted that far stand one interrupt here. I think that was definitely the play to go into the uh, overhead right after two. Yeah, one, one, two, two, one. one is just yep. such a such a quick way to get in, and you don't think it's got the range that it does, but it moves you forward. And there's that overhead stream you talk about. That and the sweep, backed up by Goro. There's so many ways you can make someone want to press. That's exactly what Dupa's been able to do over and over again, answering right back. Yeah, and that block window is so small. You have to literally let go the moment the mid hits. You are already stand blocking, anyways, uh, to cover that overhead. Otherwise, you get blown up or even try. Nice block on the cartwheel. Bit of a desperate roll here from Auxiliary to start. Yeah, you don't want to start getting into that position. Like you, it's usually pretty okay to back it up behind the low half, but you have to make sure you're timing it right. That drill kick into Goro, though, I think that's one of the best finds we're seeing that Natara's do now because they didn't really have a way to burst without just straight up movement. But you do that back to Goro, they block it. It's still plus on block, so you're gonna be fine even if you decide to commit to that. But opts to back off. Still got the drill kick. Uh, yeah, one nice. more mix up Overhead. back two. Yeah, not prepared. That, we talked. We've talked about that move quite a bit before. It's one of those overheads that 
has like a deceptive sneakiness to it because it's got a half decent range of startup but if you're in the corner the dash isn't really happening <laughs> for you to react to he's just next to you so it's pretty easy to blow someone up with that position and that's pretty much exactly how dupa was able to close it out at the end yeah absolutely it's uh definitely tough especially when the opponent hasn't represented that overhead at all like Mm -hmm. in that corner position trying to quickly stand up and react it'll catch you more often than not uh is such a snappy move with that shortened range that you have on it too right that alleged shortened range because the the frame date is still the same no matter how close you are right but uh it's a little trickier to react yeah. to at that position it's the it's the whole visual thing just like right. being there and being on top of you there's that boss block we were talking about before there's the back two again so i wouldn't be surprised to see sweep coming in because that's now what three times in a row that's overhead has happened mm -hmm. Full screen setups here. There's the low side with the hat as well. And again, that gives opportunity for Auxiliary to make that forward advance. But Goro, a little bit mistimed right there. Actually, Auxiliary didn't recognize that they had the opportunity to forward dash without even getting touched by Goro. Yeah, still good blocks from Auxiliary, at least on the lows, but everything else has been getting blown up. Dupe was getting the grabs in, getting the overheads in. And Auxiliary only really needs two touches. Like, that's all you need to be able to take away the round. But having to burn Breaker now, that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Ooh, yeah. The patience here from Dupa will get the W here. A quick blood spew to take that round. Round two. One round away from a potential 3-0. Auxiliary has had moments, but Dupa has had better moments. Just consistently getting blow-ups. I like that. I feel like they were looking for a big swing. Here, I okay, I love that combo. I'm upset that it didn't get to go further because Goro wasn't ready. But the cross-up into the dive, that timing, it just looks so clean. Nice block here, but to get the overhead, it'll get you every time. If you're not ready for it, you have to let go almost immediately after that stand one. Yeah, pretty much everything here has just been repeated. One, just one, two pressure, just constantly poking. And if you're letting him get the chip down, hey, that's perfect because there's only 850 health. All it took was that and one command grab. It's a combo and you've taken the lead. I'm pretty sure that's the, I'm fairly certain zero. I think that was the actual first EX wake up from Dupa all set. So yeah, your brain was not attuned to the fact that you would get up aggressive in that position. Up around, had the bar, worth it if you lose there, bro. <laughs> Project L will be around the corner too. Uh, you never experience many L's though when you play Johnny Cage and that's exactly what we're gonna see here. One of these two does go down and uh, this is exactly the two compositions you see the most often. It's either Cyrax for the block string pressure or backing it up with Whoa. the Kung Lao. Ooh, wait a minute, Shadow Kick into low hat? Maybe confirm, hold up. Well, we got booster gold going on over here though, actually. <laughs> it just got the full, full gold drip. That means that uh, Elgato Manny has unlocked everything for this character. This character is at level 100 right now. So that's that. You've mastered Johnny Cage. It's time to play somebody else. Yes, damn, bro. Play, nice move move on. <laughs> but uh, nothing really to do differently here because you already know once you're in that position, it's plus frame city, and you are not in a window where you could really try to trade. So Elgato Manny could just keep pressuring there. Oh, you did not. You did not just do that. You did not just charge hype meter, get him to jump over and still get the stand one anti here. Jeez, this stagger pressure is so difficult to deal with because Elgato not giving any of these overheads to get up blocked here, delaying the pressure with the low hat. So important, but this breaker is brilliant here for Menace. Now we're gonna be able to hold this corner with Cyrax to back it up and return the favor. Nice low overhead. Go with it. This is a this is a big opportunity. For, yeah, I can't say it. <laughs> for, God damn it! <laughs> for Puncher over here to try and keep the pressure up and keep him locked down. But this is what you don't want. You don't want this because now he gets a side switch. Side switch right there. Low hat able to block the net. No overhead for you. Nice delay, but missed the banger. That was gonna get the rebound. Either way, still got the kill. Elgato Manny taking the first game. Yeah, being very elusive, just like a cat. Indeed, just being very. Uh, 
he was navigating around anything that <laughs> all right I'll, just, I'll say it Mina's puncher uh was trying to establish because the whole thing with johnny obviously is getting you locked down especially when you have cyrax it's not necessarily about the opener it's about forcing them to be upset they can't get their own and they end up taking too much chip damage johnny before they get their turn johnny once you get that you get one back three punish or you get one uh forward three punish at that and you get a full corner carry that never happened because elgato mini just kept throwing low hats he kept forcing them to jump and then his turn never he never got a turn exactly you know if it was supposed to be menace there'd be an extra or menace it would be an extra e you know we know we know goddamn well what he's it would doing be two here, okay? e's, so it's menace because you're a menace he is a menace right now okay this is y'all y'all who do this are enemies of commentators just know that <laughs> right now we're gonna get a full corner carry easy i do like the fact he finally decided to go for ex shadow kicks but that's what the fourth stand one his jump are getting blown up every time what? yeah that's gonna be an important aspect in your anti-air game especially if your character does have a really good stand one you're gonna be able to uh get that pickup after uh, go Lots of damage at the extension. Great break, though, for Menace here. Also, you can see that uh, Elgato Manny has the matchup of the, the Johnny Cyrax mirror down very well because the perfectly timed duck on that string that wasn't ready. Dude, every time. Honestly, I know you try to force a turn in those situations, but if you keep jumping over the low hat every time, it might just be better <laughs> to let the low hat rock when you yeah. walk your way in. You've kind of lost the turn when you let low hat activate. You just have to embrace that it's on the field and interact with it after the fact. There's your net. A block good. Jeez. Bless the dome. Back three being dashed up. It keeps you in the air for so long. Easy corner carry out of that. <laughs> good one. It's a good one. With the glasses. I forgot about that entirely. He just he just threw five hundred dollars sunglasses at him, like it didn't mean shit. <laughs> that was so good. I'm sorry, Elgato. You are look. Everybody that's participating, you were just breaking Ajax apart tonight. <laughs> That was good. That was good. Okay. That is so much better than a brutality. <laughs> hey, do that again, bro. Oh, yo. Hey, look at oh, this. Okay. Look, wait, look at this. Look at this. He's switching. Honestly, that's the right call. I, I think that, uh, I think the, the loud Goro trying to navigate around the hat was not a great idea with the jump ins. Having the backup of your own hat toss plus Goro just being able to go full, full screen, that will probably help at least a little bit. Yeah, you're looking at being able to kind of adjust your aerial trajectory with dive kick as well too, right? So you can kind of force out those stand ones. You stayed safe with the Goro, but you were nowhere near for the, ooh, nice jab on the pass. Yeah, Kung Pao into the fist, I just, <laughs> if anybody's watched that, it was a jab. But uh, this is not what you want. You're gonna be entering a bad state of things. Actually, he got away with this hero. Got away with it, but unfortunately called a bad Goro there. That's the last thing oh, you nice anti-air on the dive kick. I'm stealing it now. Thank you. I haven't had a chance to lab it yet today. I'm taking that. I'm noticing a pretty consistent pattern. Ooh, that was oh, that was almost such a good air to air to air too. Even if you go for like hard knock down there, or you try to go for a jump over just to get side switch. Yeah, this dash back uh, back three from Elgato Manny has been absolutely insane. Because you're getting that space, you're getting the air pop up as well, able to juggle after. Rip of damage, nice overhead here, but immediate break again. Elgato Manny, and then hold the lead. You dove into the blade. It's your fault. Yeah, that was unfortunate timing too, because he just spent oh. he just spent that meter on Ex Hat too. And that at that point, it's checkmate because you have to deal with. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I don't. I don't think there was any word we didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> Often we're gonna get Katana Mirror. That is not a very common matchup nowadays, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. And, wow, actually swapping out from Sub-Zero for a Cyrax cameo here, which would be interesting. Super AMAC, yes, still representing that Katana with Sub-Zero. So we could just zone this out and have a good time. I actually agree with this approach, too. I'm not normally the biggest fan of, like, zoning too hard in a mirror because it's easy to get blown up because I know your patterns. But because you have Sub-Zero to back it up, it's a little bit easier. That said, yeah. though, Super AMAC rap kind of just walked himself into the corner, which is where Cyrax is going to go off. Yeah, I mean, this stagger pressure, I think it's going to be very important with the Cyrax assist. While we're on cooldown, though, you got to hold that corner position. Down two does get interrupted, though, so that's brilliant. 
Yeah, one thing that Katana gets out of the Cyrax setup too in the corner is you can spend those bars to be able to get that throw into a launcher. Because most of the time you're trying to condition into sweeps, into bomb setup, or find that back to the launcher. Right. That's not that easy to find in the mirror when there's a sub zero on the other side, but Star Charger's just been playing the chip game. Yeah, absolutely. Opened up a bit too early right there, and that's a beautiful confirm for Star Charger. What started off as like a a big walk down game. It looked like we were going to take a while here. Star Charger was still able to walk down, hold this corner, and the difference in style is really showcased here. Nice armor to get the anti here, and just a simple walk back. Force you to overextend. Let's go for the full punish string. Back four has been such a good answer to any time Super AMAC Rap tried to set up the old, like the overhead fan. Because you kept yeah. trying to get Star Charger to do something reckless. It's like, well, you can keep sleeping here. Like, right here. What do I need to do else? I just back four, and I'm fine. And if yeah. I want to go for back Ooh. two at some point, I'll find it. But there's not much reason to, other than just now. Right, nice. Pressure, but unfortunately, going to get scooped up. Right. Game begins about even on health here. Yeah, Super Emo Breath does have access to a sub zero string if they'd like to go for it to set up the bomb. Doesn't need it though, just to try to guarantee I, I close that off a chip, but it wasn't enough. One. Caught starting high. And yeah, we can just keep chipping away here. The four throw Cyrax is still on the stage. Nice back four. Nice EX wake up too at the uh, what six six point six five health left that was so close that extra 50 health coming in from sub-zero actually making a, a very small difference <laughs> yes nice spam pressure here but got the throw punish nice side swap here for a mac so far super a graph has spent most of the corner oh well most of the game in this corner it's his opportunity to finally see what he could do there but star charger mm -hmm. Uh, as, I mean, Star Charger's always finding the gap. That, that's really the big thing. Whether he gets yep. the hit or not, it doesn't matter. He's always taking the turn. Challenge with this down three as well. No big deal. I love that throw. I love that throw. Nice. It looks so damn cool. <laughs> nice jump in, too. There we go. That's the full pickup. Should be of a corner carry here. He does. No, yeah, you go for Oki to guarantee to stay locked down. That's the most important thing. You could back that up behind a Cyrax net if you want to catch them being reckless, but that's not what he's been doing so far. He's been making sure just to keep that always for that chip damage. Yep. One more interaction away. We go for the up kick to get the kill. Nice game for Star Charge. We'll watch a katana cage there for a second most of that game was just the entire lockdown in this new era they did indeed decide to you know have a chat a little bit get to know each other a little bit better later on right <laughs> 19 respect I, I feel like that's more disrespectful by the way to not to not actually just do the maybe, whole 20 it's like maybe it's just an accuracy thing you're not accurate with your input so you're just showing it out on uh on main you got caught in 4k unable to point directly Sorry, upward. I'm already down right. It's down. <laughs> Whatever. Well, the, currently the only direction has been back. Plus the button four, because those sweeps have been putting in so much work against Star uh, against Super A Mac Craft, excuse me, who's been trying to do everything he can to set up this distance game, but it's always led to this lockdown. I like yeah. the attempt of trying to catch the jumping though. I just continue that pressure, but armor right away. We got the space that we're looking for. And now you have to contend with this neutral game here. I think that's, you know, the one flaw of having this team up, right? Like, yeah, you're trying to cover the zoning with Sub-Zero. But the fact of the matter is, Star Charger gets to close in, keep pressure with the Cyrax, and just gets to win neutral every time because of how they're spacing normals. Exactly. Oh, I, I actually like that. Forcing the jump on, walking the back down too. It uh, wasn't... He wasn't able to find a hit confirm to try and set up for wind bomb, but it doesn't matter because he's still locked down in the grab anyways. Oh, this is gonna be a good chunk of damage. Uh, actually, never mind. Cyrax was not available, so you have to go for the knockdown. Upon it. Side still? Okay. <laughs> it this definitely a... looked like she jumped over. Yeah, he did. And this is a big opportunity right here. Like, oh yeah, hit confirm. If you get if you can get it. It did. Okay, yeah, that steals the round away. All you needed to do was force breaker away, which is exactly what happened once AMAC got that last hit. And as soon as you snag that, you just need one hit confirm into fatal blow, and all of a sudden you get yourself around. Round two, fight. Already 
already armored up immediately. Going to start the zone again. Good changes, too, because, like, at the very beginning, we were talking about how usually it's not a great idea to hyper zone in the mirror because the other player knows the timing on when to get in. But mm -hmm. Amex kind of been changing it up a little bit since, so it's not the same approach anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Right, that's our punish. Pick up. Ooh, oh no! That could have been so much worse. Oh, yeah. that could have been such a huge punish. But at least you get the corner carry now. You got the re-jump as well. Good, okay. Amac definitely picking it up a ton here. Starting really putting in work now. Jeez, yeah, overextended because we fell out a little bit too early. That gravity scaling really kicks into play here when you play out that Cyrax assist. This is a mad misinput here. Yeah, try that or a, a massive attempt at a big read on a fan that did not play out, but... Oh, yeah, big whip punish. There we go. We should be able to wrap it up. No, okay, all right. Could have gone for Stagger right there. I think we had one more hit before we had to end it. I just double check my counter routing there, but I think we had at least one more. I'm fairly certain you had one more. And at minimum, I think you could still poke down three from that range just to get right. a little bit yep. of extra damage. That's a good call. All right, hey, a net finally connects. Just like the ninth net tonight. This should be a decent chunk. You want to go for a hard knockdown here? They, they, yeah, exactly. Don't try to go for Cyrex on that route because the gravity, like you said before, is going to pull down a little bit too quick. We got to break at some point here when we get caught in these combos. We're already at 50% life deficit. I think we hold on to this meter at this point. Back fours again. They've been the perfect range every time. Oh my goodness. Yep, there's the anti-air. Nice jump in here from Star Charger. Or Amax, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually backed that up too, so I feel you. <laughs> but, um, at the moment, all you need is a couple pokes. Like, it start. Amac actually can't afford to not take a turn here. He has to keep pressuring. Okay, there we go. Who oh, no! knows? Dropping the route. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, to Star Charger's benefit, Amac was not able to capitalize on these stray hits and was still able to come out on top. That's when it gets real scrambly as your life gets lower to the same rate that your opponent is. You really start to panic. I just need one button. Yeah. Literally anything just for the kill. Yeah, and actually to uh, kind of comment on what a couple people are asking in chat about, is Katana good? She's actually solid, but the thing that comes with her is kind of what you just saw a second ago. Katana. It's pretty easy to accidentally mess up her routes because a lot of them require commitment of positioning to where the fan flies to. And if you drop that, they're pretty laggy. So you have to make sure that your routes are good. And the damage that she does for the work she gets for those routes is just so much lower than some of the characters that are above her. So that's mostly why you don't see too much. I do very much believe in the fact, though, that long term, as the game continues to change, I think Katana will be a later game threat because right now she's actually not that bad. And by Jackie, he means recovery full. Recovery full. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the amount of time, well, actually, the amount of time it takes before you can press a well, button. Well, yeah, no, because if you, if you look in the, the, the uh, command list, it, it does it. Like, I know what you're saying. I, I, it's no. the same thing. But, like, yeah, you know, for those that might not know, that is a... It's definitely a very specific game genre of reference. There. I I know, but I forgot. <laughs> so you're good. No, I was you're fine. I was trying to get, I, I shed act like it wasn't big, but I've definitely heard that before. I try, the top, Manon is just a tall ballerina. So true. It could really be dancing all over you as she punches you in the face. Kind of like that perfectly stance kick right on the tip of them toes from Star Charger, who is at the moment looking to take a 3 up. Back four is really going to help out. Versus have been on point. Oh, Jump back. We got the fan for you here. Hold this corner as well to break immediately. We want this space out of the corner. But the way that Star Charger is controlling the routes with this fan setup so important because Amax does not have a shot to really open up Star Charger without any backup. Exactly. That's it. That's pretty much what Star Charger is kind of taking full advantage of now. He's like, all right, well, you're already down so many rounds. I can just kind of, I can play your game. I can take these trades and I can keep pressuring. And that's exactly what's going to happen as long as you don't drop this. That's the end. Quick 30%, finishing it all the way up to. Do we see a brutality combo? Nope. We just go ahead and finish it with the throw. There was a lot of moments. Like, Sumer Apex Rap actually played pretty well. Star Charger just 
Honestly, I think you just get more damage for a ninja fire. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, to be fair, if you wanted Starfire to win, DLC, yeah. yeah, you were Starfire. <laughs> so, uh, Starfire Catwoman. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna get into Dexy Dog with the Reiko and Darius combo. This is pretty much the exclusive combo you will see from this because of the combo extension you a get from the throw, but b you don't really need to do much to back you up with zoning. You you have Reiko, who has some of the best zoning tools in the entire game. And you know what, on the opposite side of the coin, you do have uh, Reptile, who has excellent mid-range approach. Uh, Odyssey can give Reiko a, a little bit of run for his buddy there, simply because of all the confirm opportunities that Reptile has. But a beautiful uh -huh. up block on that jump in. Dexy Dog, able to get the opposite side and set themselves up for victory here. That run through, nothing doing. Yeah, I actually think you're right on the money about that too, because of that right there. His, one of his main combo starters is that low that you see that can easily be poked in to try and find an opening against Dexy Dog. Well, luckily for Dexy, never really decided to stop blocking low. And it's all it's on El Punk to be able to set up that short hop jump overhead or make you scared of the overhead in the first place. Right. Yeah, I think uh, I'm definitely become a believer of Reptile lately. Reptile does have like such a strong toolkit. A lot of great combo ability routes too. Um, depending upon who they're seconded with. Right now it's just Reptile, so not getting too many routes. Uh, I saw this really sick Cyrax pairing with Reptile. Of course, Cyrax, right? But the fact of the matter was, which is crazy, is that it was very consistent, which I think is very important here. But here we go. First forward throw here for Punk. Low hat still lingering, and that caught you in such a precarious position. It's it a good forces you to interact with it. Nice back throw. I was expecting the knockdown into the invisibility setup, but it never needed to happen because that down one into back throw worked out. That yeah. move has deceptive range. No matter how much you think you're out of range from that, even in the corner, it's just so good that standing three. Well, Unfortunately, did not get the hit on Darius. That was the round. If oh. it hit, instead we go to a round three. Yeah, Darius, such a hard cameo to really, uh, you know, find that groove with, right? Like he had, it's it takes precision to do. And this route from Reptile, nice low hat setup. Yeah, Reptile is just uh, so scary. I don't think we'll see a whole lot of Reptiles go for invisibility routes. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean, Honeybee is the one I've been seeing the most uh, utilizing that. But, uh, like you said, we're starting to see a few more. That string is deceptive, because most of the time they only go for the first two. And then you could sneak in that last hit, which he wasn't ready for, but he still gets the throw to reverse. Nice I'll take to the skies there. Oh, it goes for the sliding knockdown. Goes for the gator roll, but the hat is nowhere to be found. I like how the, the roll actually, like the slide in covers the hat. So you actually kind of get lost yes. in it because it's like underneath him. Uh, we're going to see, uh, we're going to see Yadriel take a get round number one here against Reiko. It's not doing it. And there's, uh, there's a nice little visual bug that you get out of uh, Reptile where his lips just keep <laughs> You just keep moving like he's just, I like, you know, what so goes... <laughs> Like I, it looks like that. I don't. I don't see reptile blowing raspberries, bro. Like, <laughs> just, that's what it was. Blowing raspberries. Yeah, yeah. Reptile was definitely reptile blowing raspberries. Dark. It's hilarious. I need to see it. I, I hope it happens. It I mean, comes it comes to your plane. He tries to spit at you. Doesn't have the. He can't do it anymore. So he's got a raspberry. I almost said so no one got me to talk to. <laughs> Getting into game number two. Uh, Reptile playing uh, pretty solid. Uh, the, the biggest thing is you need to be able to navigate around exactly that situation. Once you start getting frustrated behind the shurikens, you want to, you so badly want to go for a dash in or the slide and you just get blown up. Look how much damage he's taking because of that. Yeah. Yeah, the run-up from Reptile is definitely in such a big risk. That's the thing, too. Reptile, again, kind of difficult to get going, but once Reptile does, like, very hard to get him stopped, especially when it comes to... Uh, I saw this really good string um, where you can get a back step and throw out Gravity Ball, and it looks like it's unsafe, but, like, because it's backed up with Gravity Ball, the startup of it is so fast compared to the normals that would approach at that range that you usually get caught up in. You just have to respect completely. Yeah. Also, you can see Dexy Dog knows the mix because uh, the whole, like we were talking about it before, the surprise leaping overhead is the big thing to watch out for because back three is 
it's consistent. You can see the startup kind of happening from Reptile. So you know he wants to do it. But oh. there's the instant teleport. That's the one I've been yeah. waiting to see. Okay, good block of the double leg takedown. Come up to the air. Nice slide knockdown. Goes through. Ooh. Yo, if this were anime, you're dead. You definitely got opened up. If but we it's had left combat. rights, <laughs> yo, let's <laughs> say if we had left rights, oh, I got, we got close. That was, that was amazing. If only. It's the wrong game, though. <laughs> oh, oh, did you press? Jump, did jump, you press? jump. Oh, oh. Okay. Looking for the biggest read of the century, wanting him to jump out of the corner and instead gets blown up entirely for it. Fight. Run up just out of range. See, oh, that's tricky because you get that grab ball set up as well. Mm -hmm. uh, a nice chunk of damage. You're probably looking at 300 for that whip. Gonna play the zoning game. Good luck. Low hat. There is the low overhead. Big opportunity here for Punk. All right. Pulls it out with the slide. We got the hat to back it up. Absolutely. We're gonna go for Ooh. the overhead. Good low high blocks again. Yeah. Very tough timing to block both those. And in some cases too. Again, if it gets too close, it just auto blocks for you. Like you have to, because it's gonna give you that overhead low uh, protection. I, I, you know, honestly, you needed to spend that right there, too. You could not afford to take it, because sometimes the routes can be a little bit weird with the Rayco. No, oh. don't spend it. He only took a down one. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Back throw. I like that's the stagger. So, that's so good. All right, you still, you, you still have one more mix opportunity here with Lao Hack. You can definitely go for oh. it. Oh, he made it. Oh, wake up! This is... Tell me you do There it is. I had no idea if what the route was there because I don't ever see the Kung Lao teleport route. So I was really hoping that that would end up working it. But man, that was so clean. <laughs> I love standing three. It looks so damn cool. It's the orbital. It's the orbital. Like I said, 2D second. Now it doesn't do it. I, it dude, I don't think I'll ever see it again. <laughs> I wish I would have recorded it. You'll never see it again, folks. I'm telling you. It's. I'm waiting for it every time. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm mad that I stopped what I was doing to look to see if it would happen because to see what you're talking about. Just so I can be like. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that's why he got. That, that's actually why he got pushed out. It wasn't because he could turn into human form. He kept just doing that. Like, <laughs> look what I can do. <laughs> like, bro, that's freaky. Could you stop it? Like. Like, come on, man. It, it, it was funny, like, the first time, but you just the keep people, doing it. <laughs> All right. Well, game number three here. Uh, Yadriel up 2-0 at the moment. Uh, Dexy going to switch over to Melina. I do like that idea because Melina does actually have a pretty good mid-range game against him. I was curious as to what cameo it was. And it being Serena, the only reason why I worry about Serena is because Reptile nice. actually has quite a few good answers with Lau to just kind of check that. Yeah, Lau's gonna help out here, especially too. You got Gator Roll as well. That'll definitely shut down Serena if you do it on reaction. But we're gonna go for a tilt and tumble with Molina. Back one, but committed to the 4-4. Four -four. That right there on the low is not safe. So that's pretty easy to punish as long as you know they commit to it. Because most of the time they just go for back one, let it rock. These throw mix-ups, by the way, now, he was only doing it a little before. They are now coming in hot oh! these teleports. Yeah, good duck though from Dexy. Side swap here, very important to hold this position. Watch the overhead, I'm telling you, this next interaction, overhead. No, bro, I, I'm wrong! You got cooked, bro, you got cooked! <laughs> but I mean, you're right though, honestly, I was feeling the overhead too. There was multiple uh, multiple times uh, from back 144, and just going for lows, period, you could yeah. kind of smell it coming. Fight. There. It was there, but the throw, expecting a low block. All right, nice. Stagger actually worked out in your favor here for Punk. All right, six plus, good block in the overhead. Bill. Yeah, you had to break that right there. You do not want to deal with another teleport setup. It's been a while. Good job Ooh. knowing your block, your your ducks. This should be a decent chunk of damage if he wants to spend. No, actually, just decides to go for setup instead. I don't. Again, like I really think that over time we are not going to see invisibility setups all that often. Like that's, it's such a flex route that you can take that yeah it does potentially open up the opponent, but Reptile's buttons are actually kind of good. It's yeah. actually really nice. He's got he's got plenty of ways to make it work too. And we talked about it before. Three bars. You spend that on ex uh, you spend uh, ex spitball. 
plus cashing out into uh, the teleport or anything else, he has a lot of damage he could pull off in the corner. Yeah. Patience here, but low side. Here's a low hat. The run through opposite side. Not quite Dexy's turn yet. Why does standing core have that much range? Like every time I think it's not gonna hit, it does. <laughs> I mean, honestly though, he actually needs it. But <laughs> yeah, really does. Oh, there's a cartwheel overhead there. But that Gator roll armored on wake up. EX slide. You are in fatal blow range. We saw before he can definitely put the damage on, but that was a great job calling out e the EX with the Ooh. size. Nice. There's the Gator roll. Still pressing coast to coast. There's the down one. EX run. Nice Ooh. low. I think I'm kind of feeling like he's taking this round. He's playing really good at the end here. He gets the standing four confirm off the jump in. That's the round three. If you don't confirm into standing four, you get punished on wake up, but instead he makes sure he catches it out. Sometimes that button can be pretty weird on buffer for landing instead of follow up, but he still gets it. This is somebody who has been playing Reptile for a while. Yeah, I mean, to be able to perform at a consistent level of reptile is definitely difficult. I like, again, I like the new draft, really depending on or even just the game plan or what character you're going up against. Some of them, yep. so many of them are situational. Like, I'm not gonna go Sub-Zero on every single character I play as, but I will use Sub-Zero cameo against Sindel because I don't want to catch these fireballs. Yeah, 100%. Speaking of that, like you said, we got Full Auto coming back in. Uh, sometimes we see Full Auto switch it up, but this is the character we have seen a lot of success from with the Sendel over the years, not just in this game. So I'm kind of glad to see he's been pretty committed to making sure that she works in uh, MK1. Yes, absolutely. Okay, nice cross up attempt. He's at St. Goro, which is very interesting. We don't see this too much, this pairing too much with uh, Goro here. Yeah, you're right. This is, uh, normally when it comes to Ashra, she's she's one who uses like a common spread of like a, a few, either Sector for setup, uh, Cyrax because it's Cyrax. <laughs> Serena uh, as well. Is Serena, very... yep. Yeah. Because she can, set, she can set up for uh, the, the drain pretty easy. But also we've been seeing sometimes they use Sonya for that free combo extender without having to spend the meter after 4-3. Mm -hmm. So far, it's looking pretty good. This is where you don't want to be, though. You do not want to be in the full screen zoning war against Sindel because you can commit to the dash, but you're usually going to take the trade just like that. Yeah. Your combat disarmed. Round two, fight. So far, yeah, that move is safe, so you do not want to take that. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, Goro sets up some pretty solid mix, uh, or at least combo extenders. But I feel like overall, compared to what she's gotten to some others, I'm curious why JC Ooh. decided to go with uh, with him long term. Maybe some setups yeah. off of that uh, the throw. Yeah, potential. Yeah, you know, I can see that. You get the extended pickups. You can stay grounded longer and then end with your air combo. Yeah, because that'll help out with your gravity scaling a little bit more. Uh, cause, uh, I mean, even off of uh, Astra's just standard route, she gets a good amount of damage here. So Serena for confirm seems great, especially off of stagger pokes. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely go for 2-1 to try and either A, get the hit, or B, just put Goro out if it's not safe. So that does make that opener a little bit safer. Right. Right now we have a round number three between both. Pretty solid back and forth. A very common matchup we've been used to seeing actually just first couple weeks on TNS. The Lush Shaker, wait! Good stuff in here, what a pick up. I see more and more people getting better at the jump kick uh, starters. Because if you get J3 starts off of a good air to air in a corner, that's a lot of damage that can be left on the table if you don't know your route. Yes. Oh, oh, I kind of see. Okay, I see the sauce a little bit. Hold on. 4 3 in the Goro to keep yourself safe into Beam. If you press during any of that, you're taking full combo damage off a of Beam starter. That is That does not scale that hard. That's a really good starter. All right, there we go. First game for Jay Z. All right, I'm feeling it. I, I, there, there were moments in time where Goro was like solid enough to keep the turn going, but Ashra is so good on her own that she doesn't need to have the other ones backing her up but i we've seen full auto do this time and time again first round will be close doesn't get the zoning he wants or doesn't get the exact setup he wants but all of that is data after mm -hmm. that that's when you start seeing Sindel. absurd pressure coming in from Sindel. so i think we're gonna see a big after we're gonna see a big change that big change also coming in on the cameo too because we're gonna switch a lot 
Interesting. So that is going to keep Asher a little bit more uh, wary on the ground. We'll likely stay grounded more often than not. But it's interesting because Jay-Z usually takes the sky for aerial routing. So I think it's going to also not only kind of give a bit of caution for Jay-Z, but also that shuts down Goro potentially when Sindel can't exactly get a hit on Goro. Oh, I get the switch hat. now. It's like, I like your hat, G. I'm going to go and get one myself. <laughs> okay, have the low hat to back things up. Good block on that. One, yes, interrupts the down two as well. Ooh, good pick up. That's, that string stagger is so frightening because you think that you can punish forward four, and then next thing you know, they jump in, get full combo punish. You have to drop it. You have to break that as quickly as possible. <laughs> You were stuck. Just... You were committed to Ghost over here. I'm going to get you. It just beats Ghost every time. And he always spaces it, too, with the short hop. You make sure that he's never going for low fireball in that situation to not take a trade. Oh, this could be a quick snag. But... Oh, speaking of the snag, he gets a throw break. Hold on. A full auto ends up getting poked by the stand, too, it looked like, into beam and pressed. So Jay-Z steals the round away. Can't believe the Jay Z song started coming on. That's crazy. <laughs> I can, okay, alright. Actually, chat. Favorite Jay Z album. Hands up, right? <laughs> I wanted to ask it before, but I was like, this is too on the nose. But we got, I gotta say it. Favorite album, go. <laughs> Jay Z album. Yep. It's that time. Nice Fourth song. Out here. Ooh, okay, good teleport through to avoid the low fireball. Volato, all right, it's gonna grab the throw. We don't have any meter for Volato, but we're pretty close. So you could cash out for something. I would not be surprised. Oh, there it is. We were just wondering, we were literally wondering earlier if there are setups off of throw, and it's a 30% throw at, at that. Double cartwheel? <laughs> Again? In the corner, it's so deceptive. Because you don't know at one point he's going to press three. It's like, when are you going to jump over me? When are you going to decide to commit to that? And that timing on that is actually very scary in that dive. Back to not that easy to punish free throw. Nice swap all in three. Oh no, the armor cartwheel jumps over the teleport as well, but it was armor. JC coming out of that corner. Nice dive kick. Stay safe with that spin hat on the floor. Volato bringing this all the way back, like we were talking about before. He's not only uh, taking the lead, but he's taking the lead pretty dominantly. But yeah, you have to spend that cash right now. You need to put some damage on the board. Woo! The back step blocks the down one. Nice throw Ooh. punish pick up well, too, for the corner position. Bro, how many characters does oh. she... She has, like, seven characters and cameos that she can use to get combos off a throw. Like, Astra has so much... She has too many. Like, that's why she was using Scorpion for a while. <laughs> she has too many throws into cameos. <laughs> And that was kind of a scary spot to be in, too, because uh, Full Auto with full meter at any moment could have been a breaker, and we had to kind of eject early out of our combo. Especially, too, like, I, I guarantee Jay-Z wanted to go for that fatal blow, but th at what cost? So yeah. Yeah. Risking the potential of a break there was not ideal. Exactly, yeah. You don't, you, like, it's, simplicity is key in that position. You already have a lead. You started to take momentum away. You're not zoning as much. You're just winning straight up on pressure. So don't, oh, don't try to be reckless. As much as a right. fatal blow's damage could be good, sometimes it's not the answer. Let's approach the overhead, okay. All right. Oh no, trying to get that whiff punish. A little bit too far though. Yeah, usually she's pretty good at that too. Like, she has some amazing range for that. I mean, even forward four in general. It's just another one of those moves that's really easy to lock up to kind of get that quick poke in. The JK kills me every time, by the way. The jump split kick, I, I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the animation. Oh, oh, big drop. Big drop. Gets the cartwheel, sets up, back two. Does not get the confirm off the low hat though. Oh, oh my god. How much is that gonna do? That was only a, that was what, just standing two in the fatal? That doesn't yeah, scale at all. <laughs> you are absolutely dead. Oh, she, she shake my hand. She had so much oh, rage. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, no that might be a pixel. We're playing the mini game. game. We're good. It's not, it's not. Oh, okay, alright, alright. Right. Yeah, not that... playing the mini game. Full auto. 
betrayed me. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh, wait a minute. Does that have something to do with the fact that, uh, oh wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong health. Never mind. I forgot Goro takes, like, Goro is the one that takes away the health. What? That's, uh, that was, that was kind of nutty. Like, the fact that she can get that much damage off the Fatal at that type of range, that actually makes her one of the most dangerous characters in the last season. Yeah, I mean, that has so much reach, especially for an anti-air option, too. Nice poke. Take to the skies and need lots of work to catch up on with Goro to keep it bouncing here. But unfortunately, the fireball didn't reach in time. Yeah, that was very close off forward three. Launch it to Goro. That could have been a full corner carry and all. But it said full auto has the low hat to back him up. Trying to get himself on the board here. Trying to make sure DZ does not go up to the one. That's it's exactly what's going to happen as the flick kick comes in against it already. Shut down. I think it was a scream trade off the teleport too. Some very, very cool set right now. I'm actually glad that this has been as close as we have uh, been seeing too. Because we talked about it before, Full Auto's had to play this matchup quite a bit over the past like month and change, especially here on TNS. She's almost had the pickup right there. Wanted the four poke rather than the short there. Oh, good block! Ooh! Jay-Z uh, Jay just decided I'm done with this nonsense. I am pressuring, and you're not going to do anything to stop me. Oh, my God. How? How do you have the courage to press a button there to steal back a game? 2-1 lead for Jay-Z. Man, it's all about composure in those last hit situations. That's exactly what Jay-Z had. You do not... You so badly want to swing because you don't want to lose the game, but you can't because you're staring down the range that Ashra has. So Full Hotto had to be so careful, and then the forward three to close it out. Like you, you don't expect something to be super committal at the end because you want him to maybe find a poke like last round. But Full Auto, there's not much you could have even did about that forward three after he committed two because he had Goro off cool, uh, cooldown, and that was just perfect no, case scenario for Jay Z. Nor has any ever received an invitation. Right. Right. Off to potential. Is that point here almost for Jay Z. We'll see if Full Auto has something to say about it, though, because this is a good start with the fourth throw. I try to go through JK. Go three. But... I mean, one thing that Full Auto has been on the money for, I don't recall the last time Jay-Z got a throw attack. These throws have been on point. Get a solid 32? No, actually, just ends at uh, 29, but still doesn't matter. That EX wake-up stuff. He's been very reserved, very pick-and-choosy when he does decide to go for it. What a scoop. Nice. You got the very end of Lush Shaker right there. Able to dash through the hat. I'll leave it behind. It's going to back me up. Man, forward one has so much range and you can it's it's safe too so you can't really do much about that and i like that because that honestly has been one of the better checks to stand to from ashra in these late game situations that's like the third time that combo route has dropped you try to go for the fireball earlier you talked about and he drops it on the yeah. follow up with that you got you cannot leave that damage on the table caught up blocking here a couple times as well Nice, down one, interrupt. Safe bet. Full auto was going to go high there. Nice punish. Should be able to get close to closing it. No Goro to back it up. But the overhead will get the finish. Yeah, in that situation too, like, Oki was pretty much in your favor. Because you know that with the one bar, Full auto doesn't really want to spend the meter there when he's got another round to play. So it's pretty safe to set up for Fireball. And that was a pretty easy right. closeout. Oh no, the armor one more time here. Tough situation because you know, you're on you're on set point right now. You do not want to get sent down to losers this early. This is still pools. I believe this is to get into top 24. But having to deal with the shark pit that can happen in the lower half of top 16, <laughs> yeah, never want to deal with that every week. All right, back two. Once again, still not confirming into the low hat, but there's the back one again. The damage is building up zero. He has not had an answer for it. Yeah. Okay, from nice low into throw. 
be enough just yet. Down three pokes might be able enough to do it. This you're in chip range now. Their back yeah. one won't be enough. Oh no! The counter poke! You have so much work to do. It has to be perfect. Anything will do. And a wake up down one. Great option from a full auto tied up to all. Yeah, that's your only option was to get guaranteed Oki, get him to bait like or bait out some silly mistake, but down one in that position, if you're standing right on top of me, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna swing. The only thing that could have probably blown that up maybe was a 4-3, but I think because Jay-Z went for 4-3 in that previous match, yeah. he was probably Same thinking deal. that's what Full Auto was looking for, and now all of a sudden the mental layers are too deep, no. and oh, we are seeing oh, oh, oh. a... Are you... I am shocked! You're, so we're good. seeing a character switch here to Tanya on I'll round five when he's been playing so well on Ashra. That said though, I am a super believer that Tanya is incredibly slept on because holy crap, she has some damage. Yeah, she definitely has some damage. Uh, definitely one of those characters that I really need to study on how to block this character because she um, is looking rough. Yeah, also if I remember correctly, I believe that's forward two for uh, the yeah. double poke. That's safe. It's got decent range to it too. And it leads to everything she wants. Uh-oh, yeah. uh-oh. <laughs> Striker, I believe, leads to a restand. Nope, decide not to spend the bet, uh, the cash. Oh my goodness! And yeah, it's armor. It's gonna avoid low. It's a great wake up here from Jay Z. Let's block with the punish right after. This should be. Oh no, dropped it. Oh, the whiff throw though. Oh. And we, we were just talking about it, and thank you for very much proving my point. Uh, Jay-Z going for 4-2 multiple times in a row in full auto pretty much couldn't do anything about it. What? Was it a reversal with armor over low hat? <laughs> like, what the yeah. hell was, like, what, what was Striker throwing at, bro? <laughs> he threw the grenade, like, in the back. <laughs> like, I'm uh, just here. I'd have that? a good time. <laughs> There's the uppercut. Another one for you. Nice, big, free stand as well. All right, we got a piece of damage. We should be able to get a good carry out of this. It's not going to be a full corner, but it's going to be most of the way. I don't already have half health down. There is two, There is almost two bars. Now there is two bars. You get hit here by Jay-Z, you die. You cannot afford to get hit while those two bars are sitting there. Oh, my goodness. All right, there's one interaction here. Oh, this, oh my God. Ah, this is so scary. Those dash-ups, yeah, 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 yeah. all he needs is one open up. That's it. But he gets the hit back one finds its mark last round, last game. Fight. Right, so hat set up here. Nice air fireball. Keeping Sindel honest already. We got you spaced out over here. All right. Okay, that's another throw that has an extremely cool animation. Holy crap. <laughs> I, I mean, I, you don't get to see it all that often. Huh? I saw, that's what I was going to say. I, I see so few of Tanya, it's so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, no, Black Hook's pretty on point. That's one of the best mids in the game. That's step forward, too. What do you do about it? You do nothing other than having to get punished by the striker cameo into another fallout forward, two zero. This is starting to look really good for Jay-Z. Oh, my God. Nice jump over. Oh, oh yeah, we'll take those guys. Yeah, that back to finding its mark here, but uh, no confirm after. I'll play this fireball more. It's not something you can play super long. It's only to get a little bit of damage and build up some meter. But excuse my meter statement. He decides to spend it. Plus. All right. Oh, yo, you're way too low for those air fireballs there. We're coming in swinging. And there that will do. <laughs> I, I think, mean. I think Jay-Z trying to send a bit of a message at the end there, man. Full auto. Full auto actually, yeah. funny enough, just barely missed winning the game. Is it, uh, that will change. is it Sonic never lost in Injustice, or is it Sonic never lost in MK? Uh, Injustice I, I 1, never... I know for a fact that Sonic uh, never lost. Yeah. Or, or at least, it, like, went on a huge title. Yeah, like, I, I think Sonic loses MK, but doesn't lose Injustice. Yeah, there's... That, well, yeah. One of the few times that Sonic uh, can get caught, but even with that, I mean, we've been seeing it. Like, we don't know if uh, we'll see the rain, or we'll see the Raiden, mm -hmm. or if we can see Lao potentially, because right now we got, uh, actually, this, I'm kind of surprised. This is the first time we're seeing Kenshi show up, and uh, the double Lao combination, because Lao Goro has been one, but we're seeing more and more of double Lao, too. Yes. Yeah, I think that's going to be a really big pick, because we got the mid hat and low hat on top of it, so you just got to hold it. Uh, oh, nice upkick pressure. Immediate break from Rollis here. Nice. Nice. Let's hear about this corner pressure again for Rollis. 
the big thing is setting up Sento. But we saw a little while ago, actually, that there is tech from Lao. They can use the EX hat spin and back up Sento to separate the two. It was Splash, I think, who did it. So <laughs> there, there is some actual tech to handle that. That's hysterical. Oh, side switch maybe? Nope, decides to keep going, go for full combo damage. Shao and Shimmy to finish it for 40%. Set up in the hat. Yeah, at this point, you can't go. You absolutely just cannot go, uh, like, into the zoning war with Lao at that point. There's just no, there's nothing you can do. All right, it's good first game for sure. Are you pain? <laughs> Kung Lao using Madame Bow money? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. Bro, Madam Bo for DLC win. Cameo? Sure. You came so I'll give you cameo. Being Earth Realm's I'll allow it. It would have been awesome. That amulet paired with my hat. It's all up to me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure whatever you just said was beautiful. I accidentally dropped my head though, so I heard nothing you just said. <laughs> I was wondering why you were so quiet. I was starting to get hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just Madam Bo immediately dropped light. <laughs> Round two, uh, Pains. We're playing, again, very uh, very solid. Yo, yes, no, low key, Madam Bo would be great. But um, one of the big things that we talked about before Lao has incredible answers to Kenshi. Not just the whole Sento setup play, but the fact that Lao has the ability to mid range poke, safely jump in, and out zone him when he gets the lead specifically. You can't challenge this with any of the drop plays. Yo, that was so funny. Like, I'm going in. <laughs> if I ever see anybody, I don't care what stage Yakuza you are. If you run at me with a sword like that, I'm throwing a hat too. I do not give a damn who you are. I don't know see? who you are. You can't run up on me like that. And that yeah, that... get a free hit. That you is... got nothing. Yeah, that, that, that it ain't me, bro. That's all you need to know. A big standing anti-air, but unfortunately it was mid combo stream, so you couldn't really get a good follow up. But Haynes, you can see he definitely understands the matchup. I think Rawlis is starting to understand that as well. So you have to, you almost have to play a bit of rush down. But you don't get many turns against Double Lao in the corner. I like that throw reverse to be able to do exactly what you need. Oh, good tech. Yo, low hat. We'll steal away turns, recover it in a flash. And the big thing too, you can see it. Oh uh, yeah, you nice. had to. That was so perfectly baited by Paints because Rallis was trying not to use Sub-Zero because he wanted it for the combo extension to yep. get Sento. But once he saw he had to put on the armor because of the double hats, well, he instant jump in, instant pressure, and he might yes. take round two for it. Oh, or, ooh, question mark. That's not. a round for Rallis here. Yeah, that's definitely killing. It was at oh, like about 250 right here, so no matter how many times you're pressing next on this interaction, you're used to uh, uh, I, I believe too hard, but he got the hit where he needed it, and look at him, he has point one health. Point one from getting the round. Instead, we get round three. Tell you, man, that, ex that extra 50 be coming in clutch for people who are rocking Sub-Zero. You may not think about it at first, but it really does help make a difference. All right, nice. We got the UG series going on here. Catch up on uh, Jujutsu Kaisen episodes today. All right. Oh, actually, thank you for reminding me of that. Need to watch that. All right, this should be a close. Uh, excuse me, I was looking at the wrong health. Uh, this is two, uh, two touch situation potentially. Oh, he oh, spends it though. There it is, and too close to get away with it too. Nice finish here from Rawlis. One all in the set. Amazing, amazing job. We're gonna go ahead and get us to a one round of peace. Uh, to Cosmico's question, I believe, at least that I know of off the top of my head, Too Easy and his brother are both going. Um, I don't believe they reside there right now but that's where they're from so you see two az and his brother showing up uh, it's a stacked weekend if you want to point if you throw a dart at a professional player in, in nrs they're mostly there this weekend at ect so it's gonna be insane i can't wait i cannot wait for the crew battle as well oh my goodness i cannot wait for the crew battle you should join the oia oh yeah you know they're probably locking it down right the florida be uh texas right uh, Florida v. Texas and Tri-State v. Florida slash Texas. Ooh, 
a couple of them. I only saw the Florida v. Texas image. So, yeah. Okay. No, Pul I can't remember if it was Pulse, Splash, or somebody uh, from Tri-State said, look, y'all act like you could do anything when Tri-State's going to fold everyone. And uh, they also somebody brought up Sonic Fox, like, doesn't live there anymore. It's like, we don't need Sonic Fox, bro. They don't need to be here. So, yeah, <laughs> this weekend is going to be wild. <laughs> Smack off across the NRS scene. Looking forward to seeing how uh, who can show up and show out. It was Splash. Okay, thank you very much. And ooh, yeah, this is uh, this is bad. You don't get the kill here, but he has meter if he wants to keep himself pressure safe. Forty-two percent. Yeah, I'm very shocked. I'm genuinely shocked about that breaker right there. I mean, hey, if you can if you can somehow snag this round away. Good on you. Uh, it's all oh, big whiff. <laughs> yeah, big. <laughs> Where my hug at, kind of dude. Like, just <laughs> completely whiffing. Forward <laughs> throw. I wonder. One. I gotta keep that pressure up here, here too. Also, I, I don't know why. This is a very cheesy joke. But I wonder if one of the twins is playing double out. I could. I didn't no want to say it. Literally could, nobody. Intrusive. No all <laughs> intrusive thoughts. Intrusive thoughts. One today. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Here comes AJ. I said, look, I couldn't. I couldn't help it. Right now, uh, Rala is playing. Playing very well. Uh, just, you know, avoid the overhead. Great blocks. The throw doesn't kill you here, so you take the throw every day. But I don't know if you can afford to take another throw pressure string. Can't take any string in general, right? Here we go. Yo. You did not need to do that. <laughs> it was just to make sure. And you know what? It might contribute to the uh, daily um, what oh, yeah, call it? missions. Daily, daily missions, missions again? Extra okay. coins. Yeah, yeah, that's certainly important. Important. You know, <laughs> people get so heated every time I fatality. I just say, I'm literally, it's just a mission. Like, I don't get Same, same problem MK11. I just, dude, I don't care. I just need the mission. <laughs> Bro, the thing with x-rays at Why? the end of the combo like that is it forces you to stay there and look at your loss for an extra, what, eight seconds? <laughs> so I'm already <laughs> looking at my phone or looking at stuff on Twitter. Move on. It's, it's, like, it's the same as, like, level threes at the end of uh, of um, Street Fighter. It's like, yeah, hold, hold that, bro. Yeah, and y'all want stage fatalities. All right. I do. Y'all acting like this and you want stage fatalities, huh? In the next yes. Week, we fight like Yeah. That's for me. That's mine. <laughs> but when it's done to you. Uh, nah, that's toxic, bro. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch up our hats. We're going to go from one to the next. We're going to go over to Raiden with the Cyrex. Uh, there potential disconnect issue here. I uh, might be looking at oh, that. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like something happened in the pain. So we'll figure out in a second if he starts moving or not as to uh, what happened. So apologies for, for that. Wait, what, kind of, what kind of sheath on can she sort? Like, it's not even covering the whole blade. Like, the whole bottom of it is nothing but blade. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> That's not even dangerous. That doesn't even protect your blade at all. Like, what Bro, is... Stop that. Like, he immediately started, like... He can like, switch like, cameos on a win. He could totally switch cameos on a win. You're allowed yes. to do that. Yes. That is absolutely allowed. Yeah, you cannot change your character, but you can change your cameo. That is the thing. Okay, it looks like we're back. Couple down threes to try and send the message. And uh, no countdown. <laughs> we are at 35 seconds, however, so that, that will change the potential of a timeout here. That is very true, actually. I'm just gonna commit to it anyway, because I guess somebody didn't like the competition rules. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna let he's gonna let him rock. At that point, you uh, yeah. like there there is a thing with situations like that where you can fall the round, but uh, because they're playing it out, that is now forfeit. They decided to commit. Yes. Ah, uh, that. Absolutely. Wait, 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 wait! Time stop. Yeah, that's oh. at minimum gonna put him below the time frame. Was it yeah. was it all a bait? Did he just hold out no. so he could guarantee that he gets on the thirty seconds? Look here! Look here! <laughs> Y'all know what you signed up for. You see Raiden on the screen, there's a darn good reason why we switched the striker. This throw ain't even gonna finish it. Just oh. block! Oh. <laughs> Try real! Just block! No! You know what? You know what? 
skill issue. I can't believe you just lost that round. <laughs> he, just, he just took that away. That's OD. Rawless is one round away from taking it. Back two. Back two. Yeah, stand one throw, usually a pretty indi uh, quick indicator off of meaty. So like, okay, you're probably going to make an attempt at throw or a four and four here. Rawless not falling for it. Cyrax to come through. Nice back two. I'm gonna try to force you to stand up. And Sento's still on cooldown over there, so not able to really play the game. He has come back now. Ooh. Yeah, I like this zone game. Yeah, I like this. This is good because what do you do? You can't you can't go into Oh, never mind, you could do that. That's what you could do. <laughs> you can full screen EX and get the punish. Bro, don't let it be you. So... Don't let it be you times two. No, don't let it be you times two. That was a full screen 38%, and uh, if you get caught again, you die. Oh, Yo, oh, again, oh. you can't. I've seen one person get success out of that run up from Kenshi. I, I've never seen it again. Someone should sh prove me wrong. Like, what? <laughs> Show me why you would do that. Look, but I still almost brought that back. That's OD. The X is actually gonna shut down Sento, and I like that. And before Sento comes back, just just dive out of there. It doesn't matter. You don't need to play neutral there because of that. Man just did the slowest walk up overhead you have seen this century, and still got the hit. Nice down three into the electric cell. And battery and he's still running. He needs to keep himself going because we talked about it many times before. Stamina is a big thing late game. If you can't stay. Like recoup in those last last eight situations, you'll have what happened earlier with uh, that round that Rollis took away. Uh, Electric is not weak to ghost type, unfortunately. This is just a neutral encounter. It does mean, however, that Raiden cannot use like Mega Punch. Unfortunately, any fighting moves are not allowed against ghost types. Unfortunately, uh, actually normal moves. Excuse me. So any normal move, so go right through the ghost. So what you're telling me is when I go into the PVE mode and I put mm -hmm. on one of the mutators that makes Kenshi electric, that I'm technically mm -hmm. throwing a bunch of slashes with Gengar? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it's actually Night Slash. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're throwing out um, with Sento no, there. Nope. But uh, yeah, Raiden does get a stat bonus for using uh, electric move, of course. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, you got, look, you can't, you can't really, you can't really not like stack stab, bro. You like, I, I don't know why he's been going for these low sweeps. Those are fighting moves. Those don't have the, like the same type tack bonus. Like it's, it's just yeah. not. But plus also they're supposed to, they whiff, they whiff on Sento. Okay, they're not supposed to hit. Ooh. Back to. You stood up. That's your fault. Tremor is going to destroy these Raidens. I am here for that. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Uh, Earth type. Yeah. 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 Everything just whiffs. <laughs> is Tremor Earth or Rock? Yes. He is ground. He is ground Rock type. He is both. <laughs> okay. So then, yeah, that's a nightmare. Raiden is. Just... Get, get, get a cup of water. Throw it at him. Yeah. Just the earthquake can't be, can't and it's used. over. Yeah. Nice two four. Wraps it up. Round two. All right, this is a uh, we've we've gone from a pretty interesting set lead that was being played by uh, Rallis into a game five situation. So Ains with this switch over the Raiden working out pretty well. Gonna take the hit, and because you took that hit, not only do you take a good chunk, but you take a near corner carry. What a breaker! How does a taser work on Raiden? Don't ask questions. Okay, look, he's it's because this version in this new era is just a dude who has a tablet, okay? Oh, that, what? that talisman is giving him the damage he needs to finish out the job, and that's exactly what's gonna happen, man. Pains not feeling any of that as he goes ahead and finishes the whole thing into one of the coolest brutalities in the game. And that's what happens when you don't drink coffee if you're addicted to caffeine. Brutality. That's clean. I need to go yeah. pick that up. I didn't realize that that was something that just dropped. The I, Halloween costumes are out right now. Go pick those up. I have things to do uh, in between rounds as I slowly load up my nice. Steam account. <laughs> wow, wait, that did butters. That's crazy. But got the overhead with the scorpion assist there. She looks like a zombie because it's the uh, cannibal outfit is what it's called. Ah, the cannibal. Yeah, you know, actually, that lines up so perfectly. 
Uh, I do also like the... I, I really like uh, Sub-Zero in for Illy Silly into this matchup because you take away already the not full screen range size that she has. So you force her up to play differently, but we're going to get the launcher, set it up into the stream. Absolutely. Do we go for the Sub-Zero setup? Yes, we do. Go for restand and keep that pressure up. Ooh. Not just so nice. Flawless there. Yeah, you know that infinite ban. Come on now. Yeah, hip, yeah, no, no infinite incoming. Uh, that is an immediate uh, disqualification. So do not even try that. But that setup in itself is still really good because the restand off that is just in general very strong mm -hmm. pressure. All right, armored up. Let's get the stands go. Nice stand one with the spin to win. That's a good call, right? That's gonna put you in the life lead. Won't kill. Right, we got one yeah <laughs> you either have a roll in a dream oh wait no there is no ex size available so that is actually off the table oh all right no that follow up after had to block but yeah that beautiful overhead yeah actually ripped out of the sky so it didn't end up working out trying to find a down one poke maybe a down three in the middle of there too yeah just being so careful here because even illy silly is waiting for the sub-zero assist here it comes there's the oh. armor and health and is in favor of Hello Larry. You yeah. have to press something. <laughs> that hit, that hit, that hit. Oh my God, that hit, that stops the timer too. It doesn't matter, the game is over. I can't believe that hit. How are people keep losing these last situations? It's so goddamn scary. You got it when you have life lead. It's okay to block, you don't have to kill the opponent. You just stop. Like, the, here, here was the mini game that happened. The throw was this. Illy Silly tried to throw you, the whip throw happened, game's over. You backdash, you run away. Hella Larry fell into the mistake so many people make, we all do it. You see the whip throw, even with the lead, and you're like, I gotta win. And then they just mash the fatal blow because you're pressing a button. Yeah. Right, nice anti-air. Pick up right after it. Same side too. Very good cross under here from Hella Larry. There's that Scorpion extension we talked about before. The teleport into the second one. Cash out completely into 47%. That hurt. Nice. Very good mid approach here. Oh my goodness. It's so terrifying too. Melita walks up to you and you're, uh, I have to do something. Yep. And it's a little too late by that point. Oh we talked about God. it many times over, man. Even if it's just one overhead for 16%, it don't matter. If you get hit by two of them, that's a lot of goddamn damage. So mm -hmm. it's, it's she's so quick to make you fall for that. Nice flawless here. Great defense from Hello Larry in this set, honestly. I've been pretty sad. Ooh, down one anti here though. Yeah. I don't think Tim it was supposed to be the jump over right there. I think we were supposed to go for a spin or a dive there. I think you're actually on the money with that. That that, that jump in kind of felt a, a bit reckless it, at minimum. So, uh, but uh, the fact that Illy Silly was prepared with the down low, uh, down one was just very solid. Scorpion nowhere to be found though. That's a lot of damage left off the table. Yeah. Good low down one interrupt here. Oh no. Opened up low. This should be a kill, and it is. Hello, Larry, taking the first game. Yeah, Hello Larry with the mini game that nobody ever wants to deal with with Molina in the corner. They either commit to back one, two one, or they go back one four four. You don't know when they're gonna decide to commit to the four four though. That's the scary part. And once they do, if you're pressing, it's pretty quick and pretty easy to confirm into a ball or into Scorpion. Yeah, Hello Larry getting illy silly for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, you got it. <laughs> I didn't have a follow up. You got it. <laughs> Down. All right, going to this game two, Hello yeah. Larry in the lead. Yeah, game number two here. Um, I, again, I did, I do like Sub Zero still, even though obviously you can't be going for the infinite setup. The fact that you can take away size a little bit is one thing, but you got to get those resets. Also, goddamn, like a goddess. Look at that fit over on Sindel side too. It's all about the drip right now. <laughs> Yeah, everyone getting that Halloween attire. All right, and now we're at that full screen space, right? Got the armor up. Mm -hmm. That's where she's gonna win a majority of the time too. Always setting up for it. I, I think I'm a. It's such an interesting pick too against Melina, which is so fascinating. Cause yeah, she does have size, which makes that 
you know, almost null and void at that point, but just the range at which Molina can challenge Sindel. It's like, you know, that's fine. I yeah. will definitely, you know, run up and uh, hit you in the face. Here's the problem that um, Molina runs into when they go Scorpion. They lose full screen because you can't, you don't, you can't recklessly go for ball. You'll lose that way. You can't recklessly go for teleport. You'll lose that way. You get a lot of damage off the Scorpion. You get the overhead, but you don't have the backup that Lau gives you with the low hat or Goro full screen. And that's pretty much what Illy Silly kind of just took advantage of. He just kept walking back. So you have to come to me. I don't know what you plan to do about it, but you have to come to me. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in that brain over there, but you gotta get over here. Head empty. There we go for the scorpion setup. Yep, we're not anywhere near the corner, so you know that's not gonna drop. And I like the fact you go for the throw one again. Not only to get the 50 plus, but to also get the corner carry. With the overhead, that was over 70% damage you just took off of one mistake. Four, four. Yeah, that's going to chip out. Yeah, you just keep doing that. There's not much they can do in that situation. Final round fight. Come on, Larry. Has, you know, small amount of resources here. It has to worry about what Illy Silly can perform after. Nice. Oh, I love <laughs> The four yeah. throw animation for Scorpion's hysteria just comes in a drop kick someone to the chest. Like... Bro, Bro, like, who are you? He's got a message to send real quick. He's a he's he's a hell spot, okay? Like, like he's mad. He's got he's got he's still got gripes with Quan Chi. He's got things to talk about. Unfortunately, uh, kind of sp spitting fire the wrong way. Uh, the worst album of the year. Just trying to get Sub Zero. You know, Sub Zero is responsible for killing his family. Um, so actually, you're right. This the cameo did spawn as he did it. <laughs> Legit, just stopped focusing on Sindel. <laughs> Nice pick up with the Hellfire as well. Good grip of damage here for Hello Larry. Plus that corner position. Good break, but I mean, too little, too late at that point. The damage was done. Yeah, I don't think he was expecting to either A, take that much, or B, just wanted to guarantee that he was in fatal blow range. That is something people will do sometimes is to put themselves in that range because he has no bar. So he can't spend the cash to try and get a bigger combo. Whoa. Yeah, it was an interesting break there because you get that you do get that full screen presence so you can armor up after. Uh, but again, sometimes you've already taken the damage. I, I think also, too, you're going to get that better position. So I, I can see why you would break here. Because, yeah. again, you want armor. Sindel's in a better spot. You don't want to get caught in the corner situation there. But with three bars, you were just getting into your fatal blow area. Uh, it, it was definitely going to be a neutral game for you here at that point. Yeah. But uh, Hello Larry is definitely covering so much of uh, Illy Silly's offense, too, despite Illy Silly armoring up so much. Yeah, I think another thing, too, with that last situation that just occurred, when you do that, you're almost giving away that you're looking for back one Sindel into Fatal Blow. Like, that's your that's your longest range poke. Down three isn't going to confirm and scale the way you want it to, even though, as we just saw, down three covers a lot of damn range. It's not going to be the same as looking for back one. So that's pretty easy to bait from Hella Larry, and I think that's exactly why that went that way, because he always plays right out of back one range. Yeah. Good stream as well, too. Blocking the Scorpion overhead, and look how much damage Illy Silly is doing. Quick 40%. Nice, cool, thing clean without spending a lot of meter at that, too. Just, however, standing perfectly still with the armor up, you get hit, that armor goes away. So I'm not sure what he was looking for there, but Hello Larry sure is all happy that that's what he decided to submit to you because you get a quick 50 plus again. Lock. Oh no, while falling, jump one. All right, get the scream. We have Sub Zero available for the restand again. The big thing here is guessing right. Back two is the choice, and we're going to get a quick amount of damage into the fatal blow, closing that out. That is so difficult to guess when you have to stand in that position, but great call from Illy Silly. Yeah, I mean, definitely going to get that guaranteed kill. I still think Sindel could have gotten... Obviously, we know Sindel can get more off that back, too, but I think it was just, okay, I'm going to send it here and get that guarantee. I think also the worry of building up meter for the next round is probably on your mind as well, because now you yeah. got that break opportunity. Hello, Larry has uh, been more than content to just walk. I think that's the thing how Larry has been perfectly fine with. So mm -hmm. uh, part of that is kind of because Illy Silly stopped zoning. I don't know when or why, but the fireballs just stopped. And I, that's just letting Hello Larry get in. 
I think it's because of that right there. The Molina yeah. ball. Uh, you're going to go for mids. You definitely want to go for low fireball now and again. But then that allows Molina to make that jump in, make the diving approach, and still get punished. Like, that's... You're going up with a character, again, that is so explosive and a very, like, very fast first attack as well, too. Yeah. Hey, you got a good point on that, too. Hello, Larry's been very reserved. Oh, and there no. it is looking for a hard call on one, maybe, but nothing really happens from that. So Hello, Larry kind of getting oh, away with a lot no. there. And this is a fatal blow string. Scorpion extender. Yeah, there's no shot you survive this as long as he doesn't drop it. I don't think we fatal blow here. We got the kill. There yeah. it is. And just in the nick of time, too, because that breaker is almost primed and ready for Illy Silly. This is the best case scenario right now for Illy Silly when it comes to defensive options, but Hello Larry is getting so much, like, you're just getting so much reward on hit. You, you only need two neutral wins and you take the round. Uh oh. Yeah, good luck on dive kick. Good patience from Illy. 4 4 3 to get the extender. Misses out, I believe, on the back three there to be able to get the extender. Launcher nice. doesn't matter, though. Keeps him locked down. Yo, I love the little auto shooting for the low fireball right there. Yeah. You get out of range that the opponent wants to try to challenge. It's all right. That low fireball will help things out. I think you might be able to uplock that string. I haven't tested that one out yet, actually. I believe so. I'm like, I'm fairly sure because it's still a leap up. So. Right. Yeah. There's that small delay before the next hit. So you should be able to do it. But, you know, again, some strings do look like you can. You just can't get that in between your normal blocks. Like, you just kind of committed. Oh, yeah, you scary. definitely could have blocked that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. This is a scary position, but you do have chip damage in your favor. However, you do not want to take a hit. Two scorpions are sitting right there. You're at 54% now. That is a guaranteed kill if he does oh. not drop it. But the flip kick overhead, not prepared for that at all. Wait. Oh, that is the brutality. Why does the brutality make it look like the quidality? Dude. Now, it kind of does. Like, <laughs> also, I thought we just dropped. I'm like, oh, that sucks. Bro, did you know, did you, I just noticed. Look at the, the face mask. It, the blood literally covers perfectly over the face mask. So it's like, it go, it's like a superhero face mask of blood. That's nasty. <laughs> I just, how did it only cover the face mask and not the rest of her eyes? And the way Sindel sizes up her own daughter, like, yo, I'm going to destroy you. You're so grounded after this. I, I, Plot armor, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, you gotta worry about the makeup. Uh, you know, the eyeshadow, very important to protect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah You're right, though. Speaking of overheads, we got a quick round start. You can flip kick anything you can do, I can do better, which is kind of the case when it comes to Sindel. She gets so much more off of her flip kicks or her cartwheels. Nice. Tried to go for the forward advancing string to get the punish off the flurry of hair. Back one, just constantly poking out. I mean, the thing with Hell Hilarious is patience has been great, but was not ready for the drift in. I actually kind of like that early breaker, only yeah. because of how much he's walked him down already. You don't want to lose his positioning. I do like the swap to Kung Lao as well, too, because then you still get that zoning option, which is crazy because so often Illy Silly is equipping armor and. Strange call. Yeah, it's interesting. I wonder if maybe that's why we're seeing the Scorpion instead of the the Kung Lao before, because as we saw recently with Hourglass of Rain, who is still somewhere in this wreck, actually, in the, one of the next rounds coming up, uh, that loud combination worked so well, but it might have just been a call against the Sub-Zero cameo. Yeah, true. I mean, you lose out on overhead. It might be, too, that you want the uh, spin reversal as well. Mm. I think I'm, I don't know if one scorpion overhead was successful because every one of them kept trading. Like, that was the big problem. Oh, that's a big punish. Yeah, you committed to the three. That's the round. Yeah, there were a couple of them that were just successful raw. And very quickly, you're right. It, it turned into a trade situation, though. Nice jump three. Almost had to pick up, though. Well, this standing four, three overhead is consistently finding his mark. Four, four, can't remember off the top of my head. But... Hello, Larry. Uh, I mean, we talked about it before. He's perfectly content to walk down. He's, and that has yet oh, yeah. to be stopped or punished. So he's kind of been just perfectly Ooh. fine with pressuring. Good reversal teleport here. Uh, so hey, you, you don't have to worry about that at all because you got the sub zero armor. That was one of those quick one two baits. It's like, I'm going to throw out one fireball, expect you to try and read something big, but nothing really comes of it. EX 
nice front flip. Plus, like, trying to get a little bit of distance. I mean, most of this game has just been back once from Illy Silly. Yeah. You gotta get a lot more damage than that, because that's pretty much how this round's gonna go, and did not block the high-low. Hella Larry is gonna take that trip into the winner's side of top eight. Uh, of course, you know, they definitely appreciate the extra payout here going into ECT weekend here. And it's Raiden up against this Molina. Jay-Z versus Hourglass of Rain, like we talked about it before. Hourglass already sporting one of the TNS wins over the six weeks that we've had them. But Jay-Z looked phenomenal before. And actually, we're going to see the Raiden and Cyrax combination, which is a very solid damage check at minimum to what Melina can do. But because of how Melina can play just like that, she's very easy at checking a lot of his mid-range normals because of the hat and because of her own range too. Oh, no. Watching the electric cell. That'll pull you in a little bit there. Donate ten dollars if somebody could guess the number. I'm gonna go at twenty-seven. <laughs> so you just asking for fifty people to comment right now. <laughs> Chat, go. We need this. Okay, somebody guess right. <laughs> nice low sigh. Oh no. Watch that. All right, you got the electric fly here with cell on top of it. Nice okay. down for two. You can very much so take this round away. Uh, as long yes. as you can waste the time until you get back to Cyrax. That was the yeah. very specific win condition. Hourglass of Rain saw it was not even close to being ready for cooldown. So just woke up and grabbed. We out. That, well, that's one way to deal with low hat. Like, I'm I'm cool with that. You, you got it. No. Had the low block there. Tragic. Okay, confirm off of that. Or, very or rare, uh, very rare drops too. Our cross rain taken from that pretty much every other time before. Not gonna spend that cash to go for the throw. Wants to make sure you keep that for breaker, which is what we're gonna see right now. That's so tragic too, as a raiden player, you you breaking there because one bar is so critical critical for your fifty percent combo. Nice side spot here from Hourglass to carry to this corner. Hourglass of Rain does not drop those. Goes for the cross up again. This is not a game that has left right mix, but it will make you freak out. When somebody goes for the jump, <laughs> jumps in those oh, situations. Yeah. That's fun, especially too. I think you might be able to stand or crouch one on the recovery of that too. That timing looked a little interesting. Mm -hmm. Love to check that one out. That's a really fun setup. Yeah, we saw it earlier too with, uh, I can't remember which reptile it was. Um, oh, Yadriel uh, was uh, using that cross up too. And it's, again, it's not about the cross up itself, it's about making people panic. Uh, yep. And it's also a pretty easy way to guarantee you get that jump, uh, that jump one. And if they always block it, like, congratulations, you now have a throw set up. For what? Who oh, can't Jay Z no play? Way. Legitimately, who can't Jay Z play? This is I, this is what the fourth character so we're seeing right now. In my third, third. We only got the three. It was. Uh, is that you're a diabolical fiend. Gosh, who was it before? It was Katana, and then it went to Raiden, right? It was Katana, Raiden, and then Natanya. The Forget Tanya. <laughs> oh, no, also, Tanya was the other player. Yeah, no, no, I'm pretty sure this was the same person. Was it? I, I might be capping. Actually, also, it might, I don't think it was Katana. Yeah, you know, actually, chat, somebody correct us. Right now, Jay Z has a plethora of options, which is a really good thing to have in fighting games, because then you can match up check anybody. And he's not only got that damage, he's got the routes, and he got the setups to try and go for full screen. However, I like the fact that Hourglass of Rain was refusing to let that happen. Yeah, but I mean, like we saw in the last set from uh, Shirai Ryu, Melina has ways of getting in on a zoning character for sure. Yes. Oh, it was Ashra. Thank you very much, Wisdom. Okay, okay. But still, I mean, like, what a, what a spread. These are not the same characters by any means. They all play extremely no, not different. Not at all. Uh, There's your block, but too far for the punish. Old man Shang can't get it done. I had to, had to get a little bit of extra step there. Needed somebody to help him walk across the street so he could go try and get that punish. And unfortunately for him, it was not quick enough. Yeah, I think Jay-Z wants to opt for Young Shang uh, for Round those situations here to get the fight. distance punish. But nice. There we got the switch. Overhead. Back to old man. That overhead is so funny because it, it, it it's one that feels like it's like 50 frames. It's not. But every time you get hit by it, you just feel lost. And the quick switch to be able to go over into Old Man Shang 2 to go for continued pressure. Our contribution from Weaver Man. Thank you so very much. We greatly appreciate it.
shout to whoever guessed the correct number in chat. Thank you so much for that. We're continuing to increase that match burrito prize pool. We also appreciate the gift itself as well, dude, man. Missed that one too. Yes, again, everybody who continues to contribute. Okay, hold up. That is like the fourth time that overhead has landed. I, you know what? Kudos, bro. That that move has got some decent startup, but he's he's finding his hits every time. Because if you keep blocking low, I'm gonna keep doing it. I need to stand one here in my life. I stand one interrupt. One of them. Molina's got those. Got the answers too. Actually, I just realized that's the high low mix. I've been wondering what Jay Z's been doing to even set up that overhead. It's the short off fireball to make him yes, keep him locked down. Gets the trip right there, goes for the overhead again. This, it's been building up over time. That's the big thing. Oh okay, my God! He just no, keeps no, doing no. It. <laughs> Down one. Don't do another one. I swear to God. Nice up block here from Jay Z. He has definitely challenged this throw in a full side swap combo for our class here. Last going for the setup. Not in time is sub zero to block out, but doesn't matter because he gets the hit anyways. And you just you just cannot let Hourglass or Rain get a turn. That's the biggest problem. The moment that he gets one hit, that next setup, it doesn't matter whether the low hat hits, it doesn't matter if the poke hits, it doesn't matter if you block it. He's still going to keep pressuring. It's actually nuts how he refuses to relinquish his turn after he gets one combo. It's it's also just uh, like we what we talked about earlier. This is a tag fighter, right? The damage yep. output that our putting on every single hit is so crucial. Jay Z getting hits with uh, with Shang Tsung, right? But each each hit is two fifty to three hundred, and even then, Hourglass is like, all right, cool. Let me just do Molina Ball. I'll pop up in the sky, get that full grip combo. Switching yep. to Tanya though, I think is a great call because he could kind of. Help zone out here. The striker assist to back it up to keep Tanya at bay with grenades. Yes, smart uh, partnering. That's actually the the striker is what I was paying close an eye on because he was hovering over Scorpion for a second. That would have felt very difficult to deal with because Tanya has forward two. Actually, I forgot she has those stand range normals too. So uh, Melina very good at checking forward two, but behind the zoning of Lao, maybe not so much. And immediately, Jay-Z is saying, nah, I don't think you understand. I have plenty of range on Tanya's normals to deal with this. Oh, jeez. Viral error. Sure, looking like the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I see her do a oh, flip nice. kick neck snap anytime soon, we know where this is coming from. It's not your turn Sonya's yet. Sonya's move. Wait a minute. <laughs> And one interrupt despite the hat coming through and look at the mid here. The staple. One. I like that too because that stand one interrupt, at worst, you take the trade. You never lost your turn. You had plenty of health to deal with that. So it's like, okay, mm -hmm. fine. I am completely content as long as you don't get your turn. Oh God. You have another staple for you. It's a whole packet to, to block here. Striker almost feels very similar to, to the same way that Sector sets up with missiles. You think that you could sling, but he takes a while before he actually tosses the grenades. This, however, is where things get very bad very fast. But he just stand up, press a single button. <laughs> that wake up slap felt personal. That was a that that hurt. Again, lockdown. Low fireball game going for Tanya as well. Shuts down Kung Lao for a bit and gets out just in time to block that low hat. No punish on the dive kick though. Again, proving the, the same thing we talked about before. Tanya plays the game in a very similar fashion to, I'd say, like Johnny without the close range normals. It's all mid range normals. So you have that backed up with Striker, who keeps it your turn, has a potential restand, or has a surprise overhead every once in a while. It, it keeps you it keeps you honest, I think is the biggest part. And that's. Molina players don't play honest. They they refuse to play honest. They want <laughs> they want grimy setups all the time. So you I had to play with that that reach, right? You had to play with that misleading approach that Molina takes with their forward advancing normals too. Wish to be mm -hmm. trained or not, your highness. One hundred percent agree with that. Uh, I I I don't know if that same type of pressure is going to work in this game because Hourglass of Rain's adaptation is really good, but mm -hmm. last game it looked pretty dominant from Jay Z. Right. He's playing Follow confident through. too. You see that shimmy range. He was perfectly fine with playing right up ne uh, next to down one for Molina. Nice. Interesting, because it was a back throw. Who'd have thought? Yeah, you figured that he would go for a corner, and they, but instead he wanted separation. 
rip of damage here. Goes high this time. Ooh, just misses the teleport. Hourglass already started to bring it in, but yet yeah, EX reversal. That striker nowhere to be found, but it doesn't matter. Still gets to get the run up. That's rude as hell, bro. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> why is why is Striker just basically Krillin? He's got he's got Solar Flare. He's got rocks that he throws. He's got. Dang, <laughs> yeah, Striker like, is Krillin assist. Yeah, bro. Like, I, <laughs> nice block. Why, on why the is he the same? <laughs> Very good teleport right there to get the punch. Jay Z bringing this all the way back. We talked about it before. I truly think Tanya is incredibly slept on, but also not just that. Where do you get good Tanya master practice? Like, it's, you're not running into yeah. that many high-level ones right now. Nice. Keep the pressure going. Has the grenade toss. A little bit over the head of uh, Melina, but it does keep her in that corner. She can't jump out. Just a warning shot. Ooh, had the right read there, too, on the timing for the jump in, but it didn't matter because the, uh, the, the low hat was there to back it up. I, I'm smelling a matchup check. Like, Hourglass Rain still has the lead, but this definitely feels like something that he's not prepared for so far. Jay-Z has been taking full advantage of the ranges that Hourglass has not been able to outpost yet. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of this baton already. Oh, what a call, though. That's a good answer to be able to, uh, like, call out that teleport. Excuse me, the, the full range map with the teleport. Okay. Oh no, yeah, you're gonna hold this fireball for Tanya here. That was a bad call here. Try to go for the low hat. Here we go. And shut down Striker. That's a victory right there. Just a little bit more time to avoid Striker pressure. Yeah, that's one of his that's one of Striker's bigger weaknesses, is that he takes time. So you can hit him out of his setups if you catch them just doing it recklessly, but most of the time it's behind block screen pressure. Striker potentially behind the staff, absolutely. That's two times now, Zero, though, that that has been, basically the answer has been EX teleport. <laughs> it's like, now crushing blow. Two times, crushing blow, here we go. <laughs> Shoot, wrong game. <laughs> don't, don't make me think about that, bro. I like my meterless launchers. Oh, God, almost Ooh. gets the confirm off the low hat, but the throw finishes that job anyways. This brutality is one of the meanest ones in the entire game by a large margin. <laughs> uh, it's uh, been a little bit since we got to see some smoke action throughout this bracket, but you always catch it in the end during Just Nasty's run. There was that one where there was two smokes, Just Nasty making it to, I believe, fourth last week. So you can always rely on him to be here in that top eight. Yeah, absolutely. The pressure is absolutely insane. It puts the fear of God in so many players, especially to uh, not sure how to handle the vapor pressure. There's a cancel, but nice micro duck here. Oh no, miss the up, that's tough. And I love this pick with Kung Lao. So it completely yep. negates what I was talking about earlier of, hey, you know what? Low block and then just up block whenever uh, smoke goes for overhead. Now your timing has to be impeccable. Hell, even now that you have right low there. hat for it. Yeah, that setup was crazy. Yeah. No jumping allowed. All right, cool. I got low hat. Nah, I'm good, bro. You got overhead setups. You got vicious vapor mixes. And if they want to jump, you can just cover it with the low hat. Like, I mean, I know we said it before, like where I said, I, I believe there'll be at least two Laos and four Cyraxes in EC top eight. But the way it's been playing, man, like, I don't know. We might actually be seeing more Laos in that top eight. Nice. Got that forward for, or back throw, excuse me. Trying to get that interrupt there. Another throw right back from just nasty. Yeah, the Lao support here. Look, you, you still ain't gonna catch me coming back to smoke. Uh, but yeah, you're looking for just the safety net to make the opponent have to think about the overhead opportunities because you can get that big damage routing off the back two from smoke. This is gonna hit for about 35, maybe 40 percent here. I mean, we don't have any meters, so I think it's just gonna keep it up. Look here, zero. You said you ain't going back to smoke unprovoked. You said that on your own. You're oh, yeah, to, yeah. You're just trying to convince yourself you're not going back to no, smoke. No, I mean, like, because you watch it just nasty right now. Like, goddamn, bro, too. he clean. Because, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have the low hat, sit right on top of it again. 
go back try to the pump fake. See, and that's what we've established here. We've conditioned Hella Larry to look for this overhead. Now that you're door blocking this whole time, let me pump fake with Vicious Vapor because it looks just like the back two animation. And go with that forward three to open you up and get this kill. That's stuff from Just Nasty. Incredible job. Once again, chat, don't let Zero convince you he's not going back. We'll see him on smoke eventually. He'll return. We're going to get no, him that's back. That's too much work. That's too much work. He'll be back. He's going to have too much work. He's showing you, man. He'll, he, did, he did maybe one or two Vicious Vapor cancels that game. All you needed this whole time was to play Kung Lao. That's it. You just needed him. No, I, I, I definitely will just play uh, Raiden. It's, no, it's way okay. easier. It's okay. Way easy. It's okay. We'll see you soon. I'm like one two down forward two. With four, with four, smoke, four. I'm like oh man <laughs> four one two smoke. back forward three, Kung back Kung R two. Uh, stand three two. Great. I am I am a bad I influence. But <laughs> you're staying strong and I respect that. Right, right now, just nasty. I mean, look, it's it's impressive every single time, and it's really cool to be able to see him layer things now too with Lao because all of the pressure he had before yeah. was just on his own great neutral game. Now he's backing it up along with the low hat, so it's just gotten that much more dangerous. It's really, it's, I was just about to say, like, man, I've not seen just nasty go for air route yet. Yo, Vicious Vapor canceling the 4 3, but dropped it a little bit early. Nice duck. Four. Yeah, not much you can do about that. How and did that whip? Dude, look, don't ask questions. All right, look, baby, smoke low key. Low key. Top tier question mark? All right, we got get, no, game. Top, hey, question, okay, question mark? <laughs> Suddenly, top tier. Yeah, there's no rating in this top eight so far, so. uh... Oh yeah, you're right, actually. Okay, wait a minute, hold up, spin. Just Nasty always, of course, just putting out insane pressure. Even if you want to down one it, you want to poke back. He layers it in ways you're not expecting. The delayed charge into the low hat, into the overhead, off of the jump call out too. Ooh. What do you do? Your turn never happens. Hat pressure as well. Nice tech. Ooh, armor down back too. And now you gotta guess where it is. Yeah, the high. You need like that one interrupt right there, if anything. Make sure you use a moving forward normal at that too from Hello Larry, just to make sure he gets a poke in. Not prepared, don't let go of block. After to whip for the uh, cross up. Won't be enough just yet. But pretty much any pokes at this point will probably do it. Down four one, completely whipping. Has to respect Hat again, but 15% left, and yeah, the anti-air will get the W. That's so funny how the uh, the low hat causes a breakaway after you're doing the down four one with the smoke. Yeah, it's not just the good smoke. This is the smoke. Just nasty has constantly been placing well every single time he shows up to TNS, and mm -hmm. I, if I. Honestly, I, just from all of the online tournaments I've been watching, he's definitely the most consistent at placing the highest. So, uh, yes. if you're looking for that smoke tech, this is this is yes. the guy. Absolutely, smoke. putting in that work with smoke and just doing an excellent job of it too. Because again, it is that conditioning play that makes smoke so strong. You have to have Ooh. a very strong neutral um, presence against your opponent, being able to control their tendencies. Being able to condition those overhead situations too is very important because of the fact that Vicious Vapor, again, has that same animation as back two. So the way that Just Nasty plays just slowly continues to make the opponent question, which one am I blocking here? Is it the high, is it the low? What are we doing here? Yeah, and uh, something that Hello Larry showed in the previous matches is that he's primarily a walk down player. He looks for you to whip mm -hmm. by staying within your face, but walking, not jumping too much. Yes. Because the low hat's been in there and the pressure from Just Nasty, there hasn't been that many opportunities for Hello Larry to get an opener other than just now. Yeah, because Hello Larry's just been big chilling and reacting to any overhead opportunity. And Just Nasty, or just Nasty definitely recognized it. This is why we got that pump fake off Vicious 4-3. And here we are for the side swap as well. Nice pickup despite whiffing on the first hit of that uh, stand three. Missed the overhead. There we go. Down the overhead, just uh, try to get the damage in where you can. <laughs> I'm laughing at the animation of like the back and forth from uh, Smoke. It looks like Smoke was walking on his tiptoes. <laughs> look, he's just, look, he's stealthy, okay? He's the Link Way can never be found. <laughs> oh no. All right, there's your breaker. Big jump in. Yeah, follows through. There you go. Stand one, anti air. Great job recognizing that Just Nasty pretty much just looking for a big whiff. He wanted to see you go for a heavy committal option so he could get a huge combo. Oh. Never got that, though. Too far for the back two. 
But yeah, I mean, that's kind of how you have to play uh, Smoke as well, too. You have to really fish for these with Punishes here. And I mean, Hello Larry has definitely woken up. And I don't think, it, I'm not sure if it's a little too late or not, but this round three is a significant difference in reacting to not only just Nasty Special, but right there, look at that. He was already yeah. ready to react to it. Max range, too. And the problem is that Smoke, again, not a single mid. So all you have to do is low block, watch for the overhead. But the fact that we're coupling this with Kung Lao pressure makes all the difference in the world. Nice pick up here. It's a grip, but not enough to kill. No side swap combo, just keep it on the same side with Kung Lao to keep that pressure safe. Yeah, Ooh, nice reverse one, you're done! It, the Lao spin has been used by Hello Larry probably more and better than anybody else I've seen so far on these brackets. He always uses it on a reversal choice. Yes. It, he also uses it on the right times to call out the gap miss. Like, you can never get a yeah. free string if he's thinking about that with that. Oh, with Lao. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more players really pick up Kung Lao for that reversal opportunity as well. Um, but yeah, it, it's so tough. And again, too, like like you said, I think Hello Larry is catching their stride in this matchup, understanding what they do and do not have to fear against Smoke. That's pretty... That's you know what? Melina Funny enough, that's exactly Melina. how... That last time we saw Just Nasty versus Hourglass of Rain. Yeah. Just Nasty went up 2 0. But game three, Hourglass of Rain figured something out. And I saw it happen again. Just Nasty, for some reason, cannot block low hat, char low hat charge into release low hat, standing 2 1. For some reason, he always gets hit by it. So if you catch that, you might be getting a lot of free openers. Oh. Yeah, didn't want to commit to an up block right there. Didn't want to make it too obvious. But the Kung Lao with the cross under as well helps things out. Shut down the armor, back down back too. Hey, it just happened again. That is yep. now the third time it has happened. I don't know if Hello Larry figured it out, but Just Nasty is constantly getting hit there. Lee's lucky that low hat happened because he actually was pressing there. Dream situation here. And the raid from Dream Eater. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Nice block. I always appreciate it. Thank you for the extra 23 people to join this 1300 viewership that we got going right now. This insane start to top eight. Just nasty. Trying to make sure that he prevents yet another reverse 3 out from uh from the Molina players. Oh no, you should have been able to kill there. That's so unfortunate. This stuff. I think we have one more down back four that we could have done. Mm -hmm. Give it to the uh, kick string from uh, Just Nasty there to finish it. Jeez. Yeah, but you're right. Every single time, teleport, low hat. It's just a little bit of damage, but also it's just enough. Yeah, it's and the big thing is up. it steals the turn, but we did yep. get the overhead. Got three, two strings. Go ahead and go for the knockdown setup. Now, where does he go with it? Is the thing he went overhead last time. This goes for safe block strings. Yeah, the three, four. But the yo, the stand one tries to get the interrupt. Try to back off. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice jump. That was beautiful timing because it doesn't actually hit you on the comeback. Nice caught. Just nasty walking back. And nice stagger combo to get the full damage. It's always 2 1. For some reason, he just thinks that button doesn't exist. There we go. Decided to go for uh, the uh, oh, no. uh, 1 4 4. Excuse me, a 2 4 4 right there. But yeah, back 1 4 4. I get it. I remember now. Haha. -ha. But <laughs> at the moment, hello, Larry, man. Like, he, he might actually bring this to a game five. Yep, nice timing there on the down 4 1. We're safe here. Oh no, you tried to throw a plus frames. Don't let it be you twice. Don't <gasps> miss the overhead on Meaty. Hold up, wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's a fatal blow. There's still an opportunity to very much steal this round away for Just Nasty, but the teleport once again, that is the second time now that once Low Hat was thrown out, he just took the trade, because you lose on the trade. I will gladly teleport here again. This is now another situation for Just Nasty in winter semis where he might get reverse 3-0 by a Molina. Yo. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> Don't do no, not again. Not this curse. It can't be this curse. Melina, we'll find out. I mean, uh, you know, Pat, <laughs> yeah, it's no, not. We're switching to Serena, though. Okay, this was the original cameo that Just Nasty was using very often. Using the single blade a majority of the time at that, too. He wouldn't commit to the double. He would throw one just right. as a check. Yeah, and that's the thing. That is the game plan for Smoke. You're really trying to 
temper the opponent's expectations. I can't punish that. Come on now, there's a hat back there. Don't you forget it. Neutral jump, maybe? Go for neutral jump too, and then follow it to your 4 one two. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't really know how else to say it. Like, if people keep falling for it, let it rock. Yep, but we're gonna, you're so lucky right there. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. Got the punish here. The stand three, immediate break though. Looking at about 40% damage opportunity here. We got a pretty good cash out coming in from this. It's gonna be a solid 40% grip. Okay, wants the hard knockdown with the down back. No, didn't commit. I wouldn't believe that would have hit either. Nice tech. Okay. Ooh, oh, got to cross up with the teleport. The oh, yeah, that's a nice finish. Oh my god, that was a stressful situation too because Hello Larry actually threw out a button. If he decided to stay still, he was checked. But because he teleported, he was able to get out of that situation. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yep, opposite side. Once again, nice forward throw. Nasty trying to look to see if he can prevent that reverse 3 0 from happening again. But Hello Larry. This is what we talked about before. Hello Larry is a walker. He does not do a whole lot reckless behavior jump wise. Yep, goes immediately for the air combo. Goes for that 30%. A little bit too early on the 4 4 meaty. Blocks the low. There we go. There we go. Overhead the sun, though. Oh, that's two in a row. Goes for the sweep. That time actually blocking. Okay, wait a minute. One, two wasn't a successful Not a uh, option. Good patience this time to block the low and the dive kick. Duck underneath Serena. Serena is not oh. off the Ooh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Two. This is a big opportunity here. No breaker. We're looking at about a 35, 40% combo. There we go, there we go. Your dad actually. 471 spent full bar. Good stuff. Had both meters. If you have it, do not let it go it's about gold to levi go well. and uh Sinum in the chat y'all know who they are levi it did in Sinum. my goats all right we got game number one here we're gonna get to the opposite side of that winter semis and uh, congratulations if you like melina we got more for you because she's been playing phenomenal our glass of rain has been one category of that we're gonna see the double lao uh, on both sides it actually it's just three kung laos three kung laos on screen to try and see if we can deal with our glass of rain potentially <laughs> Yeah, hat toss on hat toss. Nice throw, though. Jeez, yeah, this low hat trade. Nice able to walk down with this low hat as well. Ooh. And Mark Stopper with the $5 contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark Stopper right there. I think, I think that's like a play of Christopher. Like it could have been funny. Mark Stopper. Yeah, I think you're right. Because I said Mark Stopper. <laughs> Mark, stop. Stop her, please. I don't want to call her back. Please help me. <laughs> right now, that's going to be a round going to our glass of rain. We talked about it before. If he gets a straight hit, hit confirm. It doesn't really matter where. He doesn't drop those. <laughs> Jeez, no ant here. Probably expected a low hat to get a pick up there. Well, folks are trying to find his way back in, but I like that. It's, it's very risky when you do decide to uh, go for the EX to try and outpoke someone with Kung, Kung Lao. When you can find it, usually it's with Goro to get a combo. You don't get that same thing off of Lao. Nice what a perfect damage here. And you still have to guess, but the armor wake up from Kung Lao. That's a little hat. Look at this. You already walked down so quickly to this corner off a of low hat. You can't challenge this. This is half on the field. Oh, yeah. That mini game is one I do not want to put a quarter in for any time of the week. Uh, having to do a low hat on its way and just standing overhead into the low hat keeping you safe anyways to for more block screen pressure you guess wrong you die well, not this case though that's uh it's pretty close one more one more oh no All right Mini game time. Oh, empty jump. That's not something we've been seeing too much from people, but Melina, definitely one of them that can kind of get away with that because of the fear that she has with just empty jump ball and just a blow and just a block string pressure. Oh, yeah, we, we can zone this out. Totally comfortable with that. And nice pickup off of your own low hat after the teleport. So glad Good somebody here from Hourglass. Very good stuff. 
that somebody finally did it tonight. There's been so many opportunities for low hat follow-ups off of the strings that have just barely been missed. Hourglass of Rain, we said it before though, he does not drop those. All right. 1-0 lead for Hourglass of Rain, trying to make a secondary trip back to uh, Winner's Finals. And uh, I, I'm sure that Just Nasty wants uh, some revenge after getting a W a second ago. Is that's a, a true competitor but you got to get through pains first i feel like pains adaptation has been really good after game one so i'm i am not willing to count this as like a 3-0 that's he's gonna switch over to raiden yeah that's a fair pick why not i mean to be honest i, I think that he was losing it's the Lao low hat war i know that sounds goofy but like it's just kind of what happened every time he tried to time it hourglass of rain's timing was that much better so if your cameo is basically gone might as well go for somebody who's gonna lock them uh, down entirely go for the overhead here on two go for the full route the pressure coming Hourglass of rain's defense still staying very calm Yo. and the walk down bro he knew it. it's like yeah you you want oh, you like, want something <laughs> It's like, go on, go on, keep pressing, go on. I keep punching, just keeps moving. <laughs> How dare you stand where he stood? Full screen ball, though. I mean, honestly, if it keeps working, just don't stop. Honestly, this is, this is a good grip. Almost 40%. 40% and basically a high low mix. This is so difficult to deal with. But the side of the press wasn't expecting him to go for that starter instead. Except forward two. Oh, and nice because we got the blades pick up. We could have routed with a couple with an air combo in to dive right after. Got a little bit of extra damage there. Hopefully this doesn't cost you a round. Oh, we're out. Ooh, very scary yeah, situation. No. All right, committed to the idea that he would win the round, but we talked about it earlier versus Sindel. If you think you're gonna go into a last hit situation against Molina with a zoning, you're very highly likely to get rolled on. Overhead's finally finding the mark. He blocked every overhead before that. Now we're just going for him over and over again. I believe in the 4 4. Could have gotten a down forward 2 with big damage, but this will do after the electric cage. There we go. Spence meter for the hiccup after. Beautiful stuff. That indeed was a raid in round. There's not really another way to put it. That was just perfectly executed from pain, and Hourglass the raid just kept guessing wrong. Yeah, we don't have the meter to follow up with it. I just, yeah, it's so interesting to think about like uh, Cyrax routing just to make it consistent or just mm -hmm. save Cyrax for chip in general because you get so much. Watch out! Yeah, everybody always forgets it after that teleport and think that it's gonna be uh, your turn and then it sneaks up on you. Yeah, I love this using electric cell pulls Molina in closer, keeps the pressure with Cyrax, but that round definitely gonna close out for Pain's favor here one all yep and that that ending there too making sure to spend it on the ex spear because at that point if you try to press a button you're gonna lose so you either block it and you still have to deal with the pressure afterwards because cyrax was on his way back or you hold the l <laughs> and that's pretty much what <laughs> happened at the end great job though honestly this has been a good back and forth like right the, the swap off off the double Lao. He was getting out zoned. He couldn't set up the way he wanted. So going more for a lockdown character and starting to actually get the conditioning because the overheads never landed at the start, but you just never stop. Eventually they're gonna work. Yep, especially too how often we commit for uh, overhead just to force the opponent to stand. So mm -hmm. then you can get the low right after get the big routes. We go for electric fly just to avoid low hat. The job reacting to both. Looks like he's trying to bait at least one of these attempts on it, but gonna catch him with the teleport. Our glass of rain is actually playing significantly slower and more patient than we're used to seeing, but that's just purely because of matchup. You just you can't just Whoa. rush recklessly. Got a nice teleport here. No meter, so we can uh, actually no. Kane does have full meter, so it could have been EX electric fly. And instead, actually, he, hey, he walks away with uh, the corner switch while still holding the three bars, so it worked out in the end. Still had time to block low on the hat, too, after the jump kick. Yeah, the stand, too. Reset oh. is a 4-4 pickup as well. 
Oh, his conditioning skills are through the roof right now. Uh, that He always committed full string there or had Cyrex to back it up, but canceling after the second hit, making sure you can go for the low. That was a pretty good job mixing that up. Yeah, I, I definitely did go for that 2 4 2 string because then there's no low in that, right? So you just go right for low. Normally, you see a lot of 4 2, uh, 4 2 2 starter from Raiden because it is a mid start into low ender. So you probably could just crouch block. But here, going for EX Electric Cell gets so much off of that stand 2 4. Sure enough, ACT is brought to you by Chopper Combat. That's because we're about 10 minutes away from Sikorsky Aircraft. See, you didn't know. We, had, we, 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 we were thinking about this ahead of time. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Our glass of rain did playing much better. Very similar to what we saw just a minute ago from uh who was it? Hella Larry with the slow walk play. Just trying to find small openings. Because there's not too many you get while Cyrax is available. You don't want to be up close and personal, make a mistake, and then have to deal with losing your turn for the next like 20 seconds. Jump three. Nice right into the electric cell. Oh, the one interrupts still your turn. What a steal. Like you tell, doing exactly what it's saying. Jailing you for a while. There's not much you can really do about it. Yo. Oh, my God. Jump through to not work out. That's unfortunate. And the throw for our glass. A very rare miss time. Ooh, good call on the teleport, though. But, yeah, yeah I, I, I like that breaker. Just stop, stop any momentum in its tracks right there. Oh. Nice stagger pressure. Yeah, the down four not gonna work out for you here. Go hat backed up. Lau is now off nice. the table. That's a punish here. Full. Goes for cell setup. No. I mean, we didn't have Beater to go for the big 50% combo, but still, definitely get a bit more off the down forward, too. There we go. Has the cash out now. You have that backed up with Cyrax. You have to break there. Otherwise, the round is over. And because you couldn't think of something quickly enough, the flawless block comes through to give him a moment of reprieve. But you can't take this block yeah. string right now. It was entirely on Hourglass of Rain to guess correctly after the block string was over and hope to get it. And he's going to go for the brutality. <laughs> yeah, that was really unfortunate because Hourglass was really attempting to go for the flawless before Cyrax was summoned. So then we could duck the Cyrax assist mm -hmm. and then get your punish after, but just barely mistimed it. Well done for Pains. Pains bringing it back up to a leading position trying to get himself into that winner's finals up against hourglass of rain send the other melina down there but that does not mean this is over because this is a best of five so you have to be the first person to win three rounds and in your view i mean he's been playing it very well but what does hourglass of rain need to do to try and get around this because so far pains has just been locking him down and slowing him down better than pretty much anybody else we've seen against rain so far yeah, there's so much of that guessing game that you have to work with, especially since Pains is going for that 2-4-2 two, two, uh, string. And then you have to guess right after, is this going to be Electric Cell? Or it, we go for the standard route here, because it's crazy. We're never going for any mid tier from uh, Pains here. It's always high. So we have to recognize, there's our mid, finally, 4-2-2. Two, 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 so never mind, I'm a complete liar. But start recognizing that the stand 2, there you go. Just duck underneath it, get your full punish after. You gotta force pain to show the four two three, and then you can interrupt after. Uh, you're right on the money with it too, and good blocks once again from uh, from pains. I think that's a big part of this too. He's been minimizing the damage output because every time we talked about it before, it would always be Hourglass of Rain getting one combo, and then that combo turned into the remaining turn for the game. Nice. Oh, great call on the yeah. jump though, expecting him to jump over the low hat. Overhead too. There we go. Yeah, you know. Playing, out playing neutral against Raiden. You have to understand that all those other strings are going to go for high, right? His stand one string starts high. His stand two, high. And then once you see four two being applied, or four four, that's when you kind of have to worry about this electric cell setup here, which is minus, but unfortunately not punishable. It shuts down the startup of electric cell, though. A rare occasion of uh, actually being able to catch a mistake from Raiden going for yeah. electric cell block string. So that's, uh, you'll take that any day of the week. Doesn't really get too much out of it, but at least you got back to center. Ooh. Big whip, but nothing really to follow on it. Wasn't ready for that duck interaction there. Yeah, and again, too, we need that flawless block on the electric cell situation there so we can interrupt after Cyrax gets summoned. You're kind of waiting it out here for the assist. Like, here's your opportunity. There's that first one, one right at the end before Cyrax comes out. Finishing 4-3-4-2, going for the final low. Most people aren't ready for that. 
Nice teleport. That was... I'm not sure why we just did an in-your-face down 4-1 from Raiden, but that really worked out for Hourglass to block the charge down 4 one twos. Honestly, no escape unless you go for teleport. <laughs> I think we said it last. Roll. Ooh, big breaker. Okay, opportunity for Hourglass and Raiden to try to push this to a game number five if he can finish nice. it. No, too Ooh. early on the PD. That'll do here for the round. That is a huge moment of reprieve for pains and honestly that would make me feel so good getting out of that situation but hourglass of rain playing with like some anger you can almost tell from losing that round getting way more aggro here oh, yeah. and that's kind of how you play molina too anyways in this matchup be explosive all right there's the four two starter goes into low oh that's an interrupt opportunity right there after four three down one opportunity I'm surprised he just went for a straight up 4-3 too. Maybe try to look for a poke option. But you got corner now. This is where things are going to get real rough. First throw. We've seen it a while. And he spends the bar. Tough. This is going to chunk. You don't die here, but you take a lot of damage. And it's basically guest situation. Maybe da I, I wouldn't be surprised down three into cage. He's going to have Cyrax available for double lockdown. Yeah. Got to kill it on our block. Too many. Yep, and yep, there it is. They, there, and there's not much you can do about it either. Oh no! Bet it all on a teleport. That is a 3-1 victory here for Pain. Such a great, consistent setup in that position too. After Fatal Blow, you're pretty much locked down for it. Unless you decide to go for an EX bar spend. The time's over. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe if it doesn't win. I still think that that's the combo that wins. Hey, I Definitely don't think you're gonna see a Raiden uh, winning ECT. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I believe Jinx it. Song coming out with Jay Z up against Rollis. What the Striker assist, dude? I mean, we're, we're seeing Striker cameo a lot tonight. Which, to be honest, uh, I mean, I, he's kind of slept on, but it's also because what he does is kind of navigated better by some other characters. I do think we're starting to see more people smartly explore his potential, though. Yeah, you know, early on, I thought that Strike was probably one of the weaker assists of the uh, cameo roster. I didn't think we'd see too much of him. Uh, but does kind of fill in that Scorpion function as well, like you called out earlier, too, with the restand as opposed to, um, you know, the retreat that Scorpion has. Yeah, the overhead mix up with it. I mean, I get, it's moments like those grenades where they just go over your head. You're like, okay, I get it. But uh, <laughs> like the utility, yeah, they're right there, right there again. You, it's not your turn. That's the thing that he provides compared to Sector. Sector's missile can miss. Those grenades will always find you if you press a button. All right, nice. Block on the overhead. Yo, again. I need to see someone use this run from Kenshi. Come on now. Yeah, man, dude. I need to see. Show me. Show me. That's like the that's like the fifth time we've seen somebody go for it too. It's been blown up every Just, time. He's coming through. I'm gonna go in. The head on. No, no, Kenshi, don't do that. Ah, stabbed in the eye. Like that's all right. Cool. This old man Shang just said, go, go on, get now. <laughs> get, 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 get off my lawn. I'm tired of you running through with this blade. But at the moment, uh, now he's got to deal with Sentinel damage. He's going to be locked down in the corner. He does not have Sub-Zero just yet. So this is uh, Sentinel pressure only. Yuji oh. Nanami showing work on this uh, cursed spirit. Shang's uh, bot. Uh, like a big thing from uh, from Jay Z's play so far has been the fact that he's been able to like get consistent overheads and constantly poke people out. But this is the first time we're seeing somebody actually utilize the soul steal, like taking over. Yeah, which is crazy too. No wonder why Jay Z knows how to play so much in the roster. You play Shane some, so you kind of have to. Good point. It's actually a very <laughs> good point. Block. Back four, gonna get that sneak he's looking for. You don't really need to do much else in that position. Rottless is uh, another one we saw earlier playing very well, just kind of, I think he felt in a misfortune of a reverse 3 0. Or that actually, that game five. Right, can we go for a side switch? Uh, no, he's actually just gonna commit. He constantly commits to taking over Kenshi. He's been pretty, he's been kind of consistent with it. He wants to play Kenshi right now. So, you know what? Kenshi's pretty cool. 
<laughs> when you want to play Kenshi, but you don't want to play the mirror, it's like, I only, for a little bit, want to play Kenshi. And he's caught the jump out. Jump attack, though. Tries to... Yo, okay. The aerial fireball still comes out after getting hit. Nice duck from Rollins. And Rollins not falling for these throw mixes whatsoever, uh, which is interesting considering how often... Uh, Jay-Z goes for overhead with Shang, but every time you switch over to Kenshi, overhead's not really as fearful anymore, so it doesn't matter. The stagger pressure here keeps jumping away. There it goes. That's the scary spot. You have to wait for, I believe, number four uh, before you have to guess whether they're going to throw, they're going to poke again or not. Last time it was the throw, he dashed up, made it look like he might go for a throw, and then immediately pressed again. Hmm. Shoutouts to VV Vex with the subscribe. Thank you so much for dropping the prime. Anybody else who's in the chat too or is watching on YouTube right now, uh, you can go ahead and show some support, of course, by uh, dropping in some subs to the TNS chat or pressing sub on that YouTube channel because all that goes right back into the support of these great events, which is a precursor to the incredible matches you're going to see for this upcoming weekend, not just at ECT, but at TwitchCon as well with the Rumble Arena. There's so much great action because TNS is quite literally everywhere. We literally never sleep. We don't. We really don't. Okay, go back throw. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. That was the literally the moment when Donnie Yen is fighting, uh, um, oh my gosh, uh, Keanu Reeves in John Wick 4. John, are you dead? <laughs> and he stands up real quick, like, ah. Okay, um, I gotta watch John Wick 4. But <laughs> I forgot I need to watch that. Thank you for reminding me. That's a movie from tonight. Uh, at the moment, man, dude, how Yo, often good has. JC is not even playing Shang. He refuses to play Shang. He is just constantly playing Kenshi. And the only time we see Shang in this matchup has been the air jump low fireballs. That's pretty That's much it. Yo, grenade, back me up. Why do you keep getting these grenades? Like, but don't question the amount of money that is in the local police department. Where it's, like, he, he's got enough. And how do you drive your car up on this balcony? He's got. They, they, they got the money for that too. They just. The I like. I think he's got a table with just a sound system going. He's like, whoop, whoop, and the light goes off, and then he runs up, throws firecrackers. <laughs> Bro, behind the camera is just a giant table of grenades, in like a bar, like a DJ it's a setup. It's a cart, so he keeps rolling behind his whole thing. Like I'm Bro, coming in for support. Is that Striker West is running around with a shopping cart chainsaws and grenades? Is that is that what he's been doing this whole time? Yes. All right, I'm the assist. All right, nice block. I'm jump out here. Like if I oh, hear yeah. him yell so long, sucker, one time, it's over. <laughs> a good with block. The New the Jersey seat. accent. It's so long, <laughs> sucker. Ha! Goodbye indeed. Right now, things are starting. By the way, watch Marvel on the on Fridays. <laughs> right now, here we go. More old man Shang and Yo. young Shang. Look, young Shang only ever comes out for two things: triple skull and overheads. If you, it, thank you very much for proving my point. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jay Z. Oh yeah, the wake up. Not expecting that. That is one of his faster wake up options. We actually saw, I can't remember what match it was, but um, one of the times in a, two weeks ago, I can't remember what Shang Song it was, could not handle block string pressure. And that's when we realized old man Shang actually doesn't have like a good enough frame six or seven option to poke. So wake up options are pretty much only in favor of young Shang because you have EX, like you have the EX slashes. That's like one of your better times to be able to get out of a bad situation. Sub-Zero, Striker, You were lucky to escape Yeah, it is, it's so interesting to see the balance between like the uh, young and old Shang Tsung. And I think uh, Zindai usually plays as young Shang. So it's interesting to see Jay-Z opt for old. Like that's how cool the styles of MK1 are. Like people can play so differently, but play the same character. Yeah. We talked about it with Gears earlier, where you can play Gears like five different ways. You can play Shane quite literally. How many characters are in the cast? 
like tw 28 different ways. Because oh, okay. <laughs> well, you want to take it literally. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Old Man Shang and Young Shang alone, they just have such different play styles, and it's pretty interesting to watch. At the moment, though, it's been uh, no gameplay for him whatsoever, but there's Striker once again. We talked about it before. Even when you think it's your turn, it's not, and it's a deceptive amount of time before it shows up. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are full screen blocking, and Sento couldn't even reach. Yep. Trashing. Speaking of characters who just cannot uh, give you a turn whatsoever when you think it's your actual shot, Kenshi, same point. Mm -hmm. Nice time with interrupt. Hey, oh, wait, hold up. Beerus versus Gara? Wait a minute. Hold on, you spitting. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like fun. Imagine Gara with the sands of time. It's over. Good God. So far, I'm, charge. Yeah. So I'm making a pretty big difference, actually. I just yeah. realized. Yeah. Because now you have far less fireball play. Still have to wait for Kenshi to you know, get that sub zero charge here. Full zone. Look, nice overhead. I could play your game. He's so badly. Wa <laughs> he wants to be him so bad. <laughs> bar for bar. He wants to steal his whole flow and <laughs> just beat Kenshi so bad. Oh, no. Rala's not about that whatsoever. That's going to push him up 2-1 in the set. It's been pretty close at points, but Rallis, I, I feel like he's just realized that the, the block string pressure is not there when Kenshi is transformed. Right. And he also, he just hasn't like done anything fearful. I, I that, That's the big thing. He pokes him like three times, but he hasn't really gotten like a huge combo punish out of it. Yeah, I swear to God. Jeez, he's going to change. He's up with the I, told you. I told you. Oh, I, th I thought he was going to pick Rain for a second. Like, bro, that's... I that's... thought Rain was coming too. You s Okay. Got so many characters. And so far, um, each time his, been, his back's been against the wall where he really needs to pull out a dub. It's been the switch to Tanya. That's been the consistent factor. So we'll see if it can happen again. We talked about it earlier. For anybody who's not aware, Ford 2 is very, very safe. And also her normals are just... <laughs> Dumb. She has Amazing. some extreme range. What does the RS stand for on her necklace? I don't know. It has the Brazilian flag and RS. What's going on? Um, I don't know. It's <laughs> R dollars. Ooh, ooh, so. I got it. Ron Swanson. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, that's my R oh. dollar sign is Ron Swanson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Realm Studios. I like money bags, choice. That actually seems like actually what it is. Well, Realm Studios seems very lore accurate. I mean, honestly, yeah. I, I kind of like that a lot better, to be honest. Here we I go. feel like it is what it is. No, I mean, that's probably what it is. The good damage, and just how quick you can cover that on Wake Up too. But now we get Sento setups. Time for the, oh, you know, I like that. I like that breaker every time. You do not want to have to deal with that while being behind a round. Nice. Or two. Yeah, the staple. Yeah, as you all know, it's a staple. Yep. And look at what that does too. Like it, <laughs> because it's safe, you keep doing it. You walk him into Sento's range to make sure it doesn't do anything. Nice breaker here. Oh my goodness. Max range. Got the round here. Nice from Jay-Z. That's the dangerous part about that breaker in that situation. You're basically saying, I'm going to guarantee I'll play you and Nooch and win the round from this point, but it did not happen, so now Jay-Z can pressure him without any bar. Oh, no. Got the install. Okay. I thought we were getting punished for sure. That refuses to get poked out either every time. I mean, it's a plus when you fully charge it, but you can down one that, and everybody has not Jesus. checked out on Rallis. Got our back throw. So yeah, and you gotta respect the staple. Bro, at this point, why aren't you just playing Tanya all the time, man? Like, it, we're gonna. This round is so close to going away. Back forth sweep, ship to damage. Ooh, it no, didn't finish it. Striker got hit. Wait, this is. Okay, you have one guess to steal the round. You can absolutely steal this away if they don't block correctly. Oh my god. Yeah, the armor, though. It's Tanya. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, that it was entirely on calling out the EX wake up. You needed to stop that at any point. You get it, you take the rounds. But, bro, Jay Z, okay, look, 
hear us out for a second. Why aren't you just playing Tanya? Every time you're back against a wall, it's Tanya. And when you play Tanya, you win. You do really good with Tanya. I like watching your other characters. But your Tanya is kind of crazy. Play more Tanya. Also, we need Tanya data. We don't see this character much. Play her more. Thank you. All right, we got game number five. <laughs> Gotti come from all over Outworld. Let's go, Striker. <laughs> oh yeah, and Striker. <laughs> I'm being very biased here. I need Tanya data. I don't, I don't, like, see enough of this character to know how to deal with her yet. So I need, I need to see her lose too, so I can figure out how, how she operates. You know but, how you learn that? You, you play her. Play Tanya. She, I've tried, and her play style is very odd for me. I, I haven't been able to figure it out yet. So I'm gonna steal everything Jay Z's doing because so far it's been really good. <laughs> Staple with grenades. Staple. You know what? You're right. It's just forward two, forward two into uh into spin and back it up behind a really good cameo like your names and call it a day. Nice jump in. Oh, Try to get the punish off the sub zero assist. Sub zero going to recover for a bit of time just because it got caught. Yeah, that one takes a while. It's a very strong cameo at that, so you go, you take that every day of the like to the bank. But striker. I'll pull down too, so this is the opportunity to rush down. This is exactly what Rollis did. Started to rush down to the corner as well. Ooh, oh, yeah. it looked like he was calling that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is covers so much range. Even if you try to backdash that, she just covers so Ooh. much distance. Float is still able to challenge a forward too. Ooh. Don't yeah, forget it, about the guy. I told you, it's not your turn. The grenades. He said it's just Bart. never your turn uh, in that position. And now, even in this spot here, we're once again seeing somebody who was up on Jay-Z. He switched over to Tanya, and he might be completing this comeback. Maybe getting it to that game five. Uh, or excuse me, taking away this game five. Nice. Reach from Tanya here, but still able to punish that forward two again. That is the bane of Rollis' existence in the set so far. Yeah, it's been so difficult for people to deal with all night long. Good job not jumping there. But you do not want to get walked in on Striker's gone. So this is a big opportunity to try and zone or poke, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Right, armored up. Nice. Yeah, that's that's going to be another small grip here with the oh, knockdown. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> yeah, looking for that perfect space because Fatal Blow will turn the tide just a little bit here in neutral. Trying to catch a mistake Yo, out of Rollis. No. Rollis is just not moving on anything, but we go to the skies. Nice W here. Jay-Z, 3-2. You know, I was going to say at first that it looked like it, 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 that it looked like hypothetically Jay-Z was playing with his food. Maybe not just at ECT, but like across some of the qualifiers that starts to really show up. Oh, yeah, Tanya, is, uh, one of those sleeper characters alongside Melina, who's definitely be getting... A bit of a rise in popularity. Speaking of popularity rising too, we saw a lot of Molina at the beginning kind of not fell off, but like moved away a little bit in favor of everybody going to Johnny and to Raiden and such. But over the past couple weeks, she has really had a spark of renewance over people finding Lau. Yep. A lot of that backed up by our glass of rain play. Jesus. That, <laughs> that said, uh, just a little while ago, Hourglass of Rain lost the Raid in Cyrax matchup and has to now run into yet another very strong one here in Chuleta. Uh, it's It's been kind of rough to deal with because he's one of the few characters that can lock her crazy movement down. Yeah, this has to be very patient. Opened up a little bit too early. Could have low blocked there for a bit longer. Oh no, got caught. Hold on to block. You're definitely not going to be able to attack this. Stand one is here. Yeah, he's catching those every day of the week. And not only is it a great stand one, but it's a stand one into a high low mix that if he wanted to spend the bar for two can also equal 38%. It's such a good stand one. Very scary position. You yeah. Don't, you, yeah, you don't want to walk yourself down as a corner here. Like that that's that, that's the bad part. Because once you get with it within down three range, it is now your turn lost for about 20 seconds. Oh, nice timing on the jump in, but unfortunately, cross under from Hourglass here. Gonna get this anti-air combo going. Right. Somebody actually blocking that setup. Everybody always wants to press there, but not that time. She late time knowing very well not to deal with that. Nice. We got the downward interrupt here because, yeah, she let us try to get closer. There's the 4-2-2 two, two pickup. 
This is a this is a bad spot. Yep, four four. Keep him locked down. Does he decide to press? No, just goes for back two. Ooh, nice back dash and forward two. Shut down whatever button started here. That was gonna be a big pickup to end up the round and the game. Back two. Oh no, the four two opens, but no confirm after. Yeah, didn't believe in the hit confirm there, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Still had the lockdown, still had Cyrax, still had a bar. Plenty of yeah. options to be able to shut that down. It, and that very similar to how Hourglass Array lost the last set. It might have been too, you were holding on to Ford. I get that so often too with uh uh, Raiden, where I do four two two, but I'm still holding on to forward uh, for on that second two. So when I go down forward two, it doesn't come out for me because mm -hmm. it reads it as forward down forward. So it's weird. Yeah, I mean it's it's one of those. It's a. Uh, I feel like Raiden is one of those characters that even because his strings are very basic, his damage output is very high, Raiden but you can almost sorry. accidentally so slow chart Raiden. yourself into a misinput. Like, yeah. not on purpose, but it just happens sometimes because you, you want to mix it up, like maybe this. go for a down three or back up, back dash, catch a whip punish, and then you autopilot yourself into 4-4. Four four. Yeah. Wait, I didn't want that. <laughs> Oops. It's okay, yeah, though. I got it, I got Cyrax. It's fine. <laughs> Oops. What was what me? Yeah, so now you got uh, Serena on the side of Hourglass and Rain, but Shaletta not going to be stopped whatsoever here. It's nice teleport. Yeah, I'm actually very curious about this, too, because I... I mean, I guess that's the reason why. Uh, full screen answers. He ha oh, actually, that's a perfect reason why. We were talking about it before. Full screen uh, approaches from Raiden can actually be a little bit scary if you're not backing it up. So I guess he just wants to go for a pure full combo uh, damage output from that rather than low hat straight hits. So far, not making too much of a difference. Good round here for uh, Shaletta on that first one. Yeah, he's playing phenomenally. Uh, it's it's one thing to have the damage output of Raiden. It's another thing to be patient enough to not get reckless forcing that damage because Melina's so good at blowing that up. Yeah. And Serena, as that matter of fact, too. Like, just, just making sure you're patient enough to not get caught single blade that time rather than two. So... There we go. Nice pick up here. Open up. We're going to go for the knockdown. Great job. He's going to go for tackle because that guarantees you can get to go for big combo. Yes. There's your cell. Hold on to the plus. Oh, no. Got caught up blocking here. That's a grip of damage. Yeah, I'm actually kind of yeah. surprised he decided to go for up block there. I'm not sure what he was looking for but that was Cyrex opportunity maybe he was looking for a jump in but that's gonna be a closeout two rounds up Shuleta over Hourglass Rain this is I think this is the only time legitimately that I've seen Hourglass of Rain like almost shoved into a corner and said sit like you're being put in timeout because there is not very often times where I see is Melina not running all over the place and running over someone so great job for for shutting this down so far. Yeah, it's so important to be able to keep up with the uh, I believe it, teleports. Just move that off the table by simply blocking. Um, Can I attend? Which also like you, that means that comes from the territory of you can't overextend yourself in an offensive position. You have to respect your opponent's meter and understand what resources they have available to them. Your positioning as well. Yeah. Because it's very easy on reaction for Melina to be like, okay, cool. You move, you breathe the wrong way, time to go for that teleport. Yeah, full send it. That's the entirety of this character is send it. So making sure you can slow that down is huge. And definitely agree with going back to Lau. I understand the, the switch up to Serena for like full screen hits, but it just wasn't enough. So at this point, just commit to what has been working well for you. Yeah, that's tough because you thought that was the overhead. Yeah, a lot of times everybody will assume that, you know, wa walking up, standing one, maybe they'll go for a grab after. But that's why that's why one, two works so well. Because every time you think you can get that poke, they commit. And then you get caught. Mm -hmm. Nice back two. All right. Got the moody pressure. Did it go for the full quarter carry? Absolutely. Do we go back two again? No, instead it goes for standing four. That's a... Very rare occurrence. Uh, Trying to catch a jump out. A 
you gotta burn the meter there you want to keep you just don't want to let shoelace off not only build up that meter but end the round with you in the corner because if you lose that round off that situation then you're stuck in the corner still with breaker but you're gonna have to break early you, you don't want that in round three nice up, down three hold the plus per frame a hat full screen yeah oh you yeah. did that I you knew. i knew it too <laughs> the <laughs> moment the hourglass and full screen like yeah so Bro. you expect this teleport intrusive a... thoughts won so goddamn hard right there i'd that was the most like rodeo flapping the red flag bull come here because you see red i don't care what you think about timing that teleport you're getting blown up for it <laughs> i'm not teleporting i see someone step full screen but nah no nah, i'm good bro <laughs> like I, like you know, i will walk i will gladly walk over there i'm good look don't let temptation get to you okay <laughs> since you see that there's two things that run through people's heads a ex uh tackle because like oh full screen i'm gonna go tackle you no then you think, ooh, teleport. I They walk too far away from me. I want to win. No, don't do it. Just wait. <laughs> Especially against Belina because you could go for that down for a one. But also, like, you're talking Belina full screen. She might hit that teleport on you. Yep. She might sneak in. If you try to dash up, she might throw EX size at you, get a command grab, get a full combo. So it's, it's all about being patient in that position. Exactly. I mean, didn't have a whole lot of health to work with either. That said, though, that was funny as hell. <laughs> what a call out. I Speaking just knew of... it, but don't do it, bro. Don't do it. <laughs> nice net. Big opportunity. That's not going to be 50%. Here. We're looking at about 40. Not even. We didn't spend time. We just got Cyrax this time. Yeah, just the guarantee you get the walk down. Yeah. Gonna go for back two. Does it find it? Doesn't matter. Don't get to the forward four starter. Gonna get a big chunk. There is no breaker to be found whatsoever because it is still on its way, so you got to take that. Four took a back step here. Good patience from Hourglass. Definitely could do this. Nice side swap. No. Oh, no, 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 Ooh. no. That's bait. That's bait every time. Don't do it. Uh, this combo's still going, by the way. We, st we still have roll. We still have more damage to be had by this fatal blow. Optimals all the way through. Good round for Hourglass. And all because... Wait a minute. Oh, you're oh, still he's alive. Not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. No. Intrusive thoughts won again. He knew. <laughs> Doing this. Oh my god. Oh, another stand one anti-air. Okay, he has he only has one bar maybe, so he's not gonna yeah, he's not gonna bother. He's gonna go for the setup instead. Yeah, stand one. Good pickup from power glass here. Oh, don't guess wrong. Don't guess wrong. No, oh, don't guess wrong. Oh, my God. You guess wrong over time. It's over. Stop. Don't do that again. This is what we were talking about earlier. We were talking about it for many reasons. Our glass of rain, once he gets going, is a literal demon. And he's so difficult to slow down. And that's exactly what's happened to Shirley Tai. He's getting blown up. Uh, we're going to game number five. Right after the roll, needed the dash up just to get the stand three to connect. Beautiful stuff there from our glass. Great spatial awareness. And now we are two all in the set. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> 14 love. <laughs> like, what are you doing? It's all stemmed from Shuleta getting baited out from before. And now our glass of rain has been renewed. I don't know what happened, where, that, where the confidence came from, but he figured something out and he is going in. All right, last game. My empire doesn't need Earth Realm's help. Uh, this is another one of those nights where we ain't, we ain't going to bed anytime soon, bro. Yo, it's Melina. <laughs> Melina's top two. Unbelievable. It's crazy. Look at this. <laughs> Melina. Melina is OD. And uh, another one who I'm here. I don't know if any of the big Melina reps actually went to ECT. So I don't know uh. how many we'll see in that top eight. But it's another character. If you were sleeping on it before, well. The Kung Lao setups, in particular, have made her play so much better. Oh, you got really lucky on that electric fly. Good fireball here. Nice respect. Yeah, but the jump in, though, definitely going to get you knocked down. All right, we out of there. But you got to watch the spins. We got full screen uh, moves. I got them, too. 
Don't jump in, don't jump in, don't jump in. Do not oh, jump shoot. in. Holy crap, don't okay, jump in. Okay, okay. He is 100% looking for it right now. He stayed calm. Nice, got the cell. Good aerial combo pickup. There we go. Got the corporate. No, oh, commit! Commit! Oh, it's so tragic. Okay. Back two again, maybe? He just he hasn't been going for too many. Oh, actually, we're not going to have that at all. We're going to down one our way out and get that throw. Now we get the reverse. Don't press. Do not blocks. press. It's all right, though. It's all right. Got full screen. Just throw fireballs. You won't. Just, you're not throwing one. Stop with the chasing. Okay. Yes! You got your punish! Oh, my God, man. That was yeah. so scary, but he has to break there. He has to shut that down. <gasps> no oh, he fully way. charged it. Oh, oh, you opened up trying to get the flawless and missed the flawless block. That is a round for Shuleta. Okay. Nope. No bar really to be found for Hourglass of Rain, so you, can, you, you need to get a combo ASAP. You do not want to get caught by a walking forward four and take 40 plus while not being able to break right now. It's got to be that 4-3 opportunity here from which would be huge, but Net going to get blocked out because Kung Lao is out there. Yeah, we can charge this. Just go for a little bit of chip. Care position. Backed up by the hat. Nice Stand one again. Bro, it, it does not matter what distance you're at, man. That Stand one always finds his way. No! Pressed on the two. He thought he could get away with it. You had to break. Good patience here from Shuleta. Shuleta just looking for one opener. Got to back up. Again, there's no Kung Lao to be found yet, but that cat cameo recovers so damn yeah, fast. I was just going to say, I'm watching. I'm like, great, no Kung Lao. Anyway. <laughs> That's a big mature. It's not just that the low hat is good. It's just how often you get it. Yes. All right, there we go. Aerial combo, electric fly. Watch out. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, my goodness. All right, pop up. Yeah. Big damage here. Four, three, four. He has one guess left. He's at 37%. He cannot take a hit confirm. He does not need a bar. All he needs is Cyrax, and this round is over. This is a 10-second round left. Shuleta trying to get the hit. Hey, guys, he gets the fatal blow. That's going to not only pause the time, but that might just be enough to do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's oh enough. It's just God. enough. Legit just over it yeah. in Shuleta, man. What a great job Shuleta finishing it. Pop off. Oh my God. <laughs> Believe in right now. Because once again, we have three Kung Laos here all showing up on screen. One of them being in the part of a cameo. Excuse me. One of them being in the part of actually playing the other two on cameos. Um, yeah, look, Lau, you know, I was saying it before, I feel like Lau was just behind Cyrax in terms of, like, overall. Nah, no, they're on the same. Yeah, they're, they're the same page, 100%. Stop talking about beer tacos right now. Don't Yo, don't do that to me right now, bro. Oh, my I God. I already had them this month. I can't do it again. They're, they're going to get to know who I am at the restaurant, and that's a problem. All I know is I did not know what real tacos were until I went to San Diego. And now I need to go to Mexico to try actual, uh, like, like, try them there, what? too. I was, li I was living the wrong oh, life come so out, come long. Out. Come out. No, all right. First of all, we got to get back to this match here. But don't <laughs> hit me with that beer. Because they're on the menu as beer tacos. Beer is taco? Yo, I'm tilted right now. That's, why? Why did y'all do this? Anyways. <laughs> I look like he's in back into back into the match. Uh, Payne's not feeling any bit of it, at least until now. He had a pretty dominant first round there, but that setup, we talked about it before. It covers jump, it covers low. You stay in block, you have to worry about potential back to overhead after that. And Just Nasty looking always just that as he gets game number two, or round number two. Final round, fight. <laughs> Yo, hat start. Okay. Autopilot behavior, nice. bro. Same cell. <laughs> yeah, beautiful roundhouse anti air, though. Not a big follow up after, unfortunately, but hey. Yeah, yeah that is not uh, that is not quickly punishable. Pretty safe on block, so you gotta respect that. But just nasty trying to make sure he gets his turn back. This is the only difference between the two. It's when, when you go into the zoning more, it gets real tempting to go for the, uh, the teleport. But if you get baited into it, Pains is getting a massive punish. So Just Nasty being yeah. very smart and not falling for that. All right, you, get, you got or two mix-ups. Ooh, yeah, at low enough, so the jump two did not connect here. It's blocked, but you have to respect the hat. 
charge version to keep that sidekick safe. Once I said it before, and it bears repeating, the EX version of that, you may think you could punish it, but you can't. It's safe on block. So every single time you try to poke out, you better be prepared to poke out with a fast option. He let him do it last time. Pains did not let him do it at the end. Y'all destroy me with this taco talk. I need you to stop. Please. <laughs> I'm big of you. I'm not gonna lie. I could really go for a steak quesadilla right now. Like, I, I'm actually getting very hungry y'all are y'all are not helping me right now it's late i do not need that in my life but damn i want something what they put on the menu that's taco taco why do they do that it's not like let's go kung lao it's not run to do this by an american establishment what i'm trying to say <laughs> we're gonna see the switch up to serena uh this is what happened last time too where he didn't feel too comfortable with the the match Ooh. against hella larry so he switched it up shaolin shimmy it's such a funny name shaolin fist man that is uh, such a it's such a good move for setting up full screen distance but now eat all this damage No. Oh yeah, you want to hold this corner. It makes sense. It makes sense. I like to sweep under too, just to make sure you keep him in position. Don't drag him out of the corner. We're gonna go for invis setup too. Yeah, he don't drop those. It's like his his ability to confirm. There are some characters that confirm pretty easily off of jump kicks, like Scorpion and such. But the fact that he never drops that double dash in to get the follow up is just just a testament to how much he plays this character. Uh -oh. No, try to go for this cheeky teleport, which would be great, though. I like that, too. Just guarantee you get the hit with the forward four. Moving forward normal, yeah. just just at minimum. If you mess that up, too, it's going to be safe on block. That back, too. The blocks. Route three from Haynes here, finding the mark. Oh, the corner carry. Challenge him to get the corner. Not your turn. It was never your turn. Oh, overhead. <laughs> yeah, Kung Lao can be so tricky. I swear. <laughs> it's so easy to forget about that overhead sometimes yeah. too, because it's always forward two that they go for. They don't really go for that one that often. All right, you are in a two mix-up game. Does he get two in a row? He tries to bait out. Wake up. Uh, too far away though to get the confirm. Yep. Down yep. three interrupt, of course. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense too. Hold your ground. There's not really much you need to do there. He's gotta be the one that uh he's gotta he's gotta be the one to actually do something in that situation. Nice pick up there, yeah, especially with the armor. Not gonna get caught by Serena. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh misses the teleport follow up. Of course, that one's a little bit inconsistent, so it makes sense why that might have dropped. But now, he's never really being aggressive on the wake up. Uh, you know, Just Nasty's always backing up to catch one of those aggro EX wake ups, but he yeah. refuses to do it. Punish for a little bit too far on the 4 4, but we do get that down back too. <laughs> yeah, at that point, just give it up for a second here. Need to recuperate the situation. Really trying to do that whip punish, like you said, too. Yeah, and the, like the fact that he got scared nice. out of it earlier, too. Wait, he's got he's got two bars. He's got all the cash in the here. world. Yeah. Down back four. Oh, down back two. You knew I would have went to four and made sure I got the air combo after. I, I, I'm on. I'm in the same boat. I, I'm spending bar. I'm not trying to screw that up. So he ends up closing it out. I knows his optimals, knows his routes, and I'll refuse. To let it go. Also, uh, real quick notice while we're continuing to get ready to the next match. Uh, everybody take a quick look at the pinned message in chat. If you want to watch more of the Tampa Never Sleeps action, you can catch it right there in Connecticut. My home at ECT. Well, SF6 that starts tomorrow at, I believe, what was it, 11? No, excuse me, 2. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. So make sure you tune in tomorrow and catch all that Street Fighter action throughout the day. is just as fierce as he is. whole great weekend of action, including the first pro competition uh, stop for MK1. 
percent cannot wait to see it there's gonna be so much great action going on between that and the crew battles it's good it's gonna be a good time for mk cannot wait right now it's a good time for just nancy it feels like he's like he, he's not dominating or anything but you can see his movement options are much better at playing around low hat he has been re and just to put it bluntly he's not been too great against low hat in most of these matchups so far Oh, missed out. Yeah, that was supposed to be the throw. The down four. All right, there we go. Oh, drop. Decides to check him that time. Again, that's neutral on block, so you can shoot. You can choose to try and check it or not. And most of the time, Pains doesn't let him do that, but that time, decided to wait it out. And Just Nasty takes the round. Fight. Yeah, very interesting. We're not really taking to the air combos here that really smoke gets the most damage for right like if you do not take this guy with smoke you're just resetting into you know 150 here and there but yeah if you want big damage you're looking at aerial combos nice down back two to get out you mentioned that with earlier too, back and at the full string yeah. oh yeah only going for the one maybe trying to catch a press up button so he ends up losing out on a big opportunity there challenge jimmy no, actually goes for the the knockdown setup instead the hat was still coming yes and he can just chip him out at this point One more odd jump. Interesting. Why, oh, why is that? Even... That's a reference. Oh wait. <laughs> uh, just one more odd job. I do not remember, and it's killing me because I know the reference. Gold. Not that high specifically, but it, you know, double seven reference. Oh yeah, yeah. If you're, oh yeah, if you picked odd job and gold eye, you're a terrible person. Just know that. Wow. <laughs> Big, big whip, but bro, he was, he was broken. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. One more guess the game. You're gonna lose a bunch of meter here because of the drain. Oh, God, look how much he just, like he dragged him right out of breaker. Yeah, cause I think too, that was the meter down for one. And of course, down to the up kick. It's a two one lead here for Just Nasty. Right, Just Nasty, like we said before, he hasn't been able to get into the winner side of Grands yet. He's been able to make it to Grands, but it was on losers. This would guarantee him a top two finish and potentially a much better shot at finally taking home one of these TNSs. It's not guaranteed because Payne has been playing phenomenal all night, so he can still very much bring this to game five. But Just Nasty's great spot up to one. Yeah, that, uh, that Serena circle, it drains meter, and a like uh, less Lowe. useful thing is For that it drain, it lowers the damage you receive, you do. and it doesn't me. reduce it by a lot, and the opponent has to remain in the circle in order for the damage to be reduced in there. And anytime you can utilize the meter drain period to pull someone out of breaker, you have just removed one of their last second escape options. Like, that's so <laughs> important. Well, I definitely got hit by that. That was I wild. I did too. I did not expect him to commit to only two there. It, he it, did two, four, and then said, I'm a down four. See what you do. <laughs> oh, nice overhead. This has been pretty much the name of the game. Honestly, for most of the players from Mexico tonight, if things aren't working, Raiden Cyrax has been the answer. And it has been an answer every single time that has worked out. Is this a better matchup, Shaletta, really? Hmm. Well, according to Shaletta, is not the play, so we'll find out if that's the case, because so far, I mean, I, I do kind of understand it, too, because the thing is, is that Kung Lao has some keep away and some, yeah. like, some slowdown. Raiden's but, uh, whole game plan is locking down, so you have to stop the movement from Just Nasty. You don't need to stop the movement from Just Nasty. That's a good point. <laughs> well, it's going to be a big opportunity, but don't get too reckless with these projectiles. You will get blown up. Mm. Oh, it came back from the other side! That's a fair point. That's a fair point. The down one and, uh, yeah, the keep away game, too. Which is what you said, too, right? Just uh, the keep away game in general. Yep. The keep away game in ge is the big thing. Like, if you could stop, you stop Vicious Vapors, you stop uh, random back twos, you just stop, like, his rushdown period with right. low hat and hat. But with Raiden, it's like, I'm going to win neutral and you won't. That's entirely what you have to <laughs> establish there. Yeah. Facts. And if you're going up against the smoke player, especially at this level, they know neutral. They have it. Even more so, smoke really needs to win neutral. Yep, and we talked about it just a second ago. Do not get too gun happy and trigger finger happy with those projectiles. You will take a massive teleport punish that led to 46. 
but he has no bar because of that now though he got the damage in Whoa. but now he's locked down nice block on the overhead but that is a wrap so what happens when smoke uses three bars on down back four and ends with an air combo smoke has damage yeah no <laughs> the damage has never been a problem for smoke it's always been about the consistency of finding openings that's the only problem because he's so tech heavy with the amount of times you have to prep like you just have to be really good at your cancels and tricking people like you said there's no mids so uh, like uh, if you don't have that you're you're never gonna get that damage another cage set up here goes completely low this time nice oh see and that's where it gets a little tricky here and unfortunately that's an input error we were crouch blocking we wanted to go for the uh stand one but unfortunately hit forward on there so well, and finally oh, go for that air combo string you talked about before to go for the hard knockdown but instead he just walks his way out but he does get caught by the low he wasn't ready for it he's got serena he's got three bars and he doesn't have breaker yet he has to cash it out to make sure he stops him before he uses breaker oh doesn't even need it it's just gonna be enough that was so close to getting a pain, a breaker opportunity. The more you contribute, the more we get to throw into that pot. So any little bit you can, exclamation point, Macharino, while we get into this final four, it's time for the loser semis of Hella Larry versus Shuleta. Already has the down reach, and that's so tough, right? Just has to be very careful of the advance from Molina. Nice electric fly, but unfortunately, too quick to recover. Nice. That block on the uh, first four. Don't let him commit to the low. And we get full corner kick. Actually, we're already in the corner. Excuse me. I forget the positioning on this map sometimes. But back to, yeah. Look, the big problem for the Molinas tonight has been Raiden. That's kind of been the only thing to shut them down so far. Yeah. Folks, don't forget. Is check out the rotating store on MK1 right now. The Halloween costume for Molina is out. Let me know. Yeah, pick it up. Thank you, thank you for reminding me because... Uh, not me just, just sliding uh, my mouse over on Steam right now. <laughs> uh, at the moment, uh, again, we talked about it before, uh, a big part of the shutdown for Melina is keeping her calm, which is not very easy to do. And you have, you don't have the breaker yet, so this is a guaranteed closeout. JK is going to take it, and Shaletta takes round number one. Good round. round two. Oh, jeez, the teleport, but able to block that cartwheel right after. Oh, for self. 4-2-2, two, two. that going for the full string. They cancel and down back three, but here we go. Got a punish, immediate break. See if you can keep that up or not. It's very difficult to try and keep Lina's lockdown again. But the thing is that Hello Larry, compared to what we just saw from Hourglass of Rain, who we just finished dealing with a second ago, plays very different. They're not the same by any means. But Hello Larry also 3-0 Jay-Z. Nobody tonight has been able to 3-0 Jay-Z, if I remember correctly. It's only been close sex. So that that in and of itself is actually a pretty good dub. So Hello Larry felt pretty good. That doesn't sound like the Illuminati would allow for that to happen. No. <laughs> I guess it's a bit. <laughs> All of a sudden, Doja Cat shows up in the back with the dragon amulet. <laughs> <laughs> nice reversal out of the electric cell. That's what a call out. I tried to find a down one poke or something, but gonna have to burn that uh, breaker. You have no other option. The teleport comes through and catches them with the poke. Was not ready for that whatsoever. And now we get to a round three. So careful, nice jump. But didn't have a follow up after. So you're gonna hold this block string. Lockdown comes in. Wow. Down one. Down one. Hey, all you need is to keep him locked down. Yeah, that's true. She's the stagger. Put a down three interrupt here from Hello Larry. This is a pop. This will be a good grip of damage. It's the mini game of when is it your turn? And the answer usually is it's not. In this situation, Cyrax is gone. So you still have to deal with one oh. more electric carpet. And that is the worst ride you did not want to take. It's a whole new world indeed for Chuleta as he hits you with that brutality. on. <laughs> oh, never mind. He did it. Okay, never mind. Can't do it. Can't do the brutality. Crazy. Hey, man. Look. All right, man. All right. <laughs> Been doing it to everyone else. I expected it to do it now. Decided not I, to I do thought, it. I, I thought I would be able to do it. Like, uh, I, I've not been able to pull out that brutality. You got to hold up on that one, right? It's a hold up on the down actually, four, too. Oh, actually, I think he was only doing it um when Cyrax was there. 
Like, yeah, it would do it on the back, on the electric fly, but I think for the down forward two, you hold up. I gotta look it up mm. again. I don't know. At least I think so, but I haven't gotten it while holding up, so I have to be wrong. Oh, no. It's the down back three you hold up, and that does the brutality. Mm. Down forward two is something else. Like, you just do some easy ones, like like Scorpion, where you just end it with the with the charge slide. You tap down three times, yeah. and you split them in half. That's I end it with, uh, with Jack's throw. Okay, that's a good one. I respect it. Actually, I'm a big fan of sector throw too. It's just it you just <laughs> just light them up. That's all it is. Uh, give me back the 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 cyber initiative as characters too, please. I want to play as I want to play actually as. So you want to play as Cyber Sub Zero? I got you. I mean, no, but also I would still take it because I'm one of those people who will play like everyone i want fifty thousand characters in every game i'm i'm, I'm trouble fifty thousand characters in every in 2023 huh yeah we can have it okay we you know honestly i think it was probably harder to make uh mk3 characters than it was these characters i don't know all i know i would is love to have that question answered from look the back. Trilogy and Armageddon spoiled me. I want more characters. Okay, give me a lot. Give me, give me all of them. This roster is crazy good though. I, I, I love the way it's been so far. All right, here we go to round number two. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a teleport. He's got to have answers for that. The biggest thing, I mean, the biggest thing really has been how will Larry, actually the Melinas in general, have been getting walked into the wow. corner, and that's it. They can't answer once in, once they're in the corner. He has to find a solution. So far, the teleports have been it. Yeah, and the runaway game has been immaculate too here so far for Hello Larry. That block, by the way, on the low overhead, just immaculate from Shuleta. That was insane. Right, four, four, does get blocked. There's a down one. You've got a lot of work to do if you want to catch up on this health lead that Hello Larry has. And just like that, you got it. Yeah, instead of going for back two, which you kind of felt like might be happening soon since he went for so many lows, instead decides to walk forward pressure. Well, he's got plenty that actually doesn't need to spend here. That's just going to be done outright. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you, he says. As he <laughs> lights you up with just millions of volts of electricity. You know, it only takes two amps. It takes two amps of current flow to kill a person, okay? <laughs> and he's sitting here he, with the power of the gods. It's he's like, I back. don't want to hurt you. He's holding back. You, you think Raiden knew what he was doing with the hourglass at the end of the story? You know, they just said three people shoot beams at an hourglass like they knew what they were doing. Oh, man, it's boy, cheesy. <laughs> he said, I, just, I, I was like, what is happening? It really controlling time. Like, what? Shooting beams at this thing. Like, you're command maying the whole thing. Like, what is happening? Actually, you're right. <laughs> that was actually questionable. Oh, no, the cartwheel. Okay, gonna get the overhead. Stand one, let's go. Okay, stand ones have been the name of the game. It's a. <laughs> just three beams of light. Just like reset the the timeline now. Darn it! And so I come out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That shove at the end was the rudest shit I've seen in a while. <laughs> Dies, runs over, just pushes her onto the floor. It's like, yeah. Like, what the hell? Of all the options, they close out that round. You got to see Jax after a round ending throw when he does the forward throw and you do the meter. He walks by them. Yes. <laughs> just look at you on the ground. He's like, oh my like, God. All right, bro. <laughs> Actually, I just realized a rare occurrence of not having Johnny Cage in our top four. Earlier, I got to see one of the funniest. Uh, closeouts with the the glasses toss that I forgot existed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mad we don't get that. But also, chat. Hey, no Johnny Cage in top four. That's a very, very, very rare occurrence. What? Now, uh, by virtue of picking her, we have two Tanyas in top eight, and one of them in top four. Right. Hey man, look, it's sure seeming like you know, that the, the belief in Tanya is definitely real. We talked about it before, super slept on, and she is continuing to showcase exactly why people need us. Not, not forget she exists. Yeah. Oh, nice armor. Staple. There's not much you can do about that situation either there. Keep it plus with Goro, but instead pokes his way out with down one. Nice. Got 
Good fireball. Come back at you here one more time. Oh, no. I like the air fireball. At least once this is like a, hey, I can do this here, but you don't want to go into that fight with Raiden long term. That's not going to work out with you. Ooh. Nice opener here with the armor and then immediate break. Yeah, right, doesn't want to relinquish the round. Away too. I quite been... literally, Raiden could try to go for a little chip. Needs a couple of rounds to get the full chip kill. No, or you open up and just take it all. Great job at that too, because it definitely looked like he was dashing up to go for forward four, but instead just got the jump over, forced Hella Larry to keep holding block, and that set up the winning condition. Mm -hmm. All right, opportunity here for Shaletta to take a 3-0. Stop Hella Larry on this great run from uh, from tonight. Oh, jeez, that that range on the baton, it's so scary. <laughs> Oh my god, you, every time you think you're out of range from it too, you just get right? smacked in the face. Like, that's the thing with, like, this character. You, they, we're gonna, I think we're gonna start to see more now that we're seeing more gameplay of her overall so people know what to do. But she has some insane oh. normals. Got the down four, so able to get the electric cell set up. Being very, very careful about where he tries to go win. Raiden uh, without Cyrax right now, so this is a good opportunity to at least try. But Goro nowhere to be found. Doesn't matter. Don't find the forward too. Another throw. There we go for back four sweep. I'm just gonna jump over. Sell one more time. Hold the blocks. This off a down things... one just to get the pickup here too. Missed the air combo, so didn't get the coast to coast carry, but yeah, the wake up immediately. She let it goes for that break though. This is very much still extremely doable for Shuleta oh, yeah. too, because in this position, breaker's gone. Well, it's six seconds left, but if you can get hit confirmed by a mistake, yeah. you just block for life. Yeah. You take the throw every day of the Honestly, week because you don't die to that. Yeah. Yeah, I will absolutely take the throw. I will take the uh, back two. I'm not moving. I'm just yep. going to crouch block because you can't open me up here. Sometimes the right answer is knowing where you can take the hit. Mm -hmm. If you decide to do anything stupid, you get hit confirmed in the fatal blow, you die. You take the throw, you don't die. You get hit by a back two, you don't die. It doesn't matter. As long as it's not hit confirmed. Or big hit confirmed into, uh, into the combo. Nice overhead here. Down one. Take the wheel. Good block. Yeah, we're making a small adjustment here. Nice. Good job adjusting to the adjustment from Hella Larry. Hella Larry yeah. knew he was going to down one that time, and she let us say, I'm not letting you throw me, bro. <laughs> That's not happening. Here. Nice tackle. And it's chip for game. Nope. There we go. One. Down four. That'll do it. Great job in closing it out with the Fatality 2. One of the biggest cinematic ones we have, but that is not going to be the case because somebody's not feeling like letting us see that to showcase who has the better hat, whether it's Hashra, Raiden, or Kung Lao. You will always find yourself in a great big spinny hat. The only difference is one of them throws not one but two because the double Lao combo has been great. But we mentioned it earlier, man. Mexico was out here. Not, they were out here to show up. And two yeah. of them here and loses five. Yeah, time and time again, Central America as a whole just really has a lot of strong camaraderie uh, pulling together and really trying to uplift each other and grow in the respective games that they are playing in. Uh, this is clearly no exception here because I've seen the folks cheering for the players in the chat as well. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. Fatalities blows you up. I'm up all my fault, G. Iowa Raiden. No slouch when it comes to putting on that damage. That's just the round right there. Even if you did block that, you were done. Uh, he was going to be able to chip you out post that point. So I think he, I almost feel like he kind of took the hit on purpose. I know he did it, but it just felt like one of those situations. That's the block mid hat. Nice low. Careful on this approach. This school is going to hurt. Side swap. Play the keep away. All right. Setting up quite a few fireballs just to try and establish tempo and maybe bait him into the idea of throwing both hats so he can get a free teleport. That's risky though, uh, going into that game, uh, game plan. I think he realized that. Got the stacker pressure, low hat as well. It comes back so fast, Ajax. It really, it it really so does. Fast. By the time he was done with the, uh, the rolling overhead there, he had it back again. Oh, no, armor back that. to back. I call. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's good. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> 
every time. It's so tempting because it looks like a move you should be able to punish. Right. That's what drives me crazy. Even the EX version, it looks like you should be able to Gosh. punish that. Very good micro duck there from Shaletta here. Here to the corner with the electric fly. All right. The mini game uh, back, backs up and waits for the whip. That was smart because he didn't try to play the game of like going for it outright. There's no Goro there, so nothing to follow up with that position. That's the trade off you get yep. with tossing away Goro. You can't confirm off that spot. Another hat toss. You can play this runaway game, slowly chip away at Shaletta. I mean, Shaletta's got a lead. Yeah. So. He just has one win condition. Walk him to the corner or make him hold block too long in the wrong spot. And then it's chip again. Yeah, but I mean, we're still chipping away here as we get closer and closer to that corner. But we go for the charge hat. Okay, he's taking the lead now. And this is where the zone game can actually work out for him. So wait a minute. This has been perfect. Oh, the teleport though, finally calling it out. Tragic. That was actually really damn good from Shuleta, waiting. Very, that that was a teleport done right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was a hard read. It wasn't on reaction. It was, I know you're going to throw a hat here, which allows for the punish, because there's a little bit of time delay before you can actually make that action to take the punish. Yep. Usually, like, if you're doing it on reaction at full screen, the opponent can just go, all right, cool, stay in one, here I go. Yes, all of the down, all of the constant teleporting combat league ratings. Take notes on that. If you keep getting punished every single damn time, stop teleporting for no reason. That right there, beautiful teleport. Take notes. Sorry, I feel some type of way. I'm tired of dealing with that. <laughs> Got game number two here, though. Uh, I mean, you can see it. It almost felt like one of those reads too of playing somebody often. And yep. I don't know if these two actually play each other often or not, but it sure felt oh, yeah. like that was one of those types of uh, reads. Yeah, they definitely play each other quite often. <laughs> Big damage, 40% plus. Uh, oh, no. Two. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Molina's kind of like, I respect Molina in the back right now. I can't sit and stay still at all. She's sitting there bouncing around just like, I want to stand up. To that two dollar uh, contribution by Proud Onions, by the way. Thank you for building up that match arena just that much more. We are in the final three, so we still got a little bit of time to still use the uh, use that match arena to get some more money in the pot. Net out there too. But yeah, just a further comment on the question of whether uh, Cyrus is better chip and less combo damage than Jax. Um, they can both hit about the same damage routing, but Jax is certainly more consistent. They both can hit about your 50%. It's just, yeah. Cyrax makes that a little iffy because you go for upward helicopter, um, whereas Jax, you could just commit right to the down floor too and just consistently go that route. Yeah, and Jax gives you the freak out setups with the ground pound, but also extremely good damage with his grab. So it, it's. It's a trade-off. Do you want lockdown, or do you want good setups with more consistent combo damage? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I think we might see some Jack show up this weekend. I know some people mentioned Ninja Killer earlier. I would not be shocked to see that perform very, very well as well. Mm -hmm. Payne's going to put himself on the board. Uh, I, I know this is cliche to say. But this definitely feels like one of those potential game five sets. These two are playing oh, very heavily into regular patterns of behavior. It just answered, you're, you're so right. These two absolutely play each other often and yes. know habits very well. I just, man, you know, I just, I worry about Just Nasty waiting in the works. Who do you, who do you want to fight between these two, Raiden or Kung Lao? No. <laughs> it is not too That's why I answered none. <laughs> no, I don't want to see either one of these two because they're both playing phenomenally right now. Uh, I mean, uh, Just Nasty was able to beat Pains, but it was in a 3 1 that definitely could have gone game five. Like, it was very close to that game five. Yeah. I, I don't know if, when it comes to long game, especially waiting for a while, if I want to see the Raiden, though. I really don't want to see uh, the Raiden Cyrax combo in. A late game, long night, been waiting a while, and you can see Shaletta's not, he's not slowed down whatsoever. Uh -uh. 
I'm just a nervous wreck every time Just Nasty shows up. I know, again, as the skill has shown the tech. But my goodness, I know what those thumbs are doing on that controller. I do not envy that at all. He's putting in work. He's sitting in the prime position for good reason. Uh, pain. I mean, he's not going to make it easy. He wants that rematch too. Shuleta has been... Putting in a good amount of work though, he hits the yeah. Lao at the same time, but <laughs> he, he hits the Lao, but he had, he was already up a cooldown like in like half a second. Bro, okay, we need to slow down that cooldown. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's way too fast. <laughs> look at that, look at that. And back. Here, toss it out. Yeah, I'm not gonna See, lie the though. Bumble, the somersault? throws me because no kung lao really does it and when they do it hits every time no you're so right also real quick um so hopeless that's some bars i'm sorry you throw somebody and smack them and the like knocking them down you say so hopeless you're right i'm sorry my my, my bad my fault king like <laughs> Bro, i can't see you you poked my eye out while you were throwing me what do you mean <laughs> how am i supposed to block <laughs> said now nah, you're right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go chill i'm gonna sit for a minute but EX armoring his way through, no forward four for you. Does not get the follow up and the hack though, but he still had plenty of bar. I respect that too. Just make sure you shut that down. Don't let it get out of hand. And if you whiff, look, congratulations to safe. So careful. I wonder why we are ducking these hats. I'm curious if he's expecting him to dash up overhead or something. Shout out to half Oz with the $10 contribution though. We are actually rapidly cl in closing on 100. I don't know if we hit 100 yet, but we gotta be like right about there. So don't even let me guess it, chat. Just keep dropping them donos so we can guarantee be above 100 by the time we see it again. Yeah, you don't wanna break uh, Ajax's heart when he finds out what's actually in the match arena when we go back to the lobby. So exactly. So let's, no, Fruity, no, don't. No. I'm, I'm refusing to look at chat. I won't open the Maturino link. I just want to believe that we're there. Okay? Come on, chat now. Come on, get it. It is, it is half out. You're right. It, it, it wouldn't be TNS's number one mod to possibly give me bad news now, would it? Absolutely not. It's a half Oz, but it's half ounce. <laughs> Oh, did I say half Oz? Oops. Yeah. I, I could have sworn I saw Oz. Oh. Snake. Oz wait. Snake. Wait, no, 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 no. That's OZ. That's OZ. Okay, look, yeah. I have, I have full, yeah, that's, what do you think I know that's ounces, I know that's ounces, but, but, I have full rights to make that mistake when it's OZ, okay? I can make a mistake with that being half Oz. Don't make a mistake right now, though, because you can lose this round, that's a fatal blow, and that's going to steal away the round. Oh, no, it's you not, because he about? dropped it. I'm a liar, just like the fact that it wasn't half Oz, it was half ounce. I am lying left and right. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead he's definitely not bro he, he's yeah, not I dead he was he's not dead i was in the moment he wasn't dead <laughs> uh, all right well pain's one round away from potentially getting that rematch against just nasty in the grand finals does that happen it entirely depends on if shuleta is able to bring it to the game five or if not the double allow combination has been doing good, but honestly, um, most of it is pain. Just understands this matchup. I, I, I don't know about you. I, like, there's, I don't know if I've seen a safe lock string from Shuleta without Cyrax because it's almost always been backed up by EX. That move right there, EX hands. It's like, I'm not letting you hit me. Yeah, that's the scary thing is you have to deal with hands. You got to like the counter poking that Kung Lao is capable of. I mean, look how far that. Is low three goes anyways too like jesus christ stagger pressure again and trying to challenge you play that down one game you got the electric cell but yeah the way that pain is well is blocking through ducking under cyrax showing how to navigate this challenge here all right Let's see what happens how do you block that bro no one blocks it if you block it you're cheating that's how it is how to make it <laughs> Blocking it, you're cheating. As he's about to, by the way, make a full comeback from one damage. No, he doesn't get the hit confirmed. <laughs> if he got you, the hit, you he still... Stop. 
Stop cursing Shuleta. You're like, he's about to win. And then he dies immediately. Stop it. Have you not learned I'm an op for Rain and Cyrax yet? Okay. <laughs> I don't think you figured this out yet. <laughs> All right, low hat. We're in trouble. Oh, no. Not oh, no. That. Don't, that's got to have been 4-3. Yeah, I... I am very shocked he said to go for 4 2 punish right there, too. That's a, got a decent amount of startup. Maybe he was just expecting a panic block down. I didn't go for the pop right there. I didn't want to spend the meter, but uh, Payne definitely wants to spend some meter here. And even after the whip, too, keeping himself safe. That was actually really smart. Yeah. Like, okay, I stay, he's still holding block on wake up, so it's going to be fine. Yo. Yeah, Payne definitely understanding the matchup here because every electric cell after Cyrax. We've ducked under so far. Yep. Kane <laughs> is well used to this matchup, folks. Confidence is key in playing against this type of damage output. There really is no other way to put it. You have to be calm through, through and through. But, I mean, Kane, he's just been just as good as playing the lockdown game as Shuleta has been. And, and that's the thing, too. It, again, Tag Fighter, you know that you're going to explode at any opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, right, not enough hats, bro. This game is sponsored by Lids. I need to see a New York like symbol on that hat ASAP. That one blocks the Nice. Yeah, but the throw punish after. Here is to see when Shuleta decides to try and check the two one strings too, because he's paint I know it seems like paint's getting away with it just because it's safe, but he's been doing it a lot. At mm. some point, he's gonna check that two one string. Right. Oh, almost got away with it. There we go. Couldn't get the punish, though. So tough. This is so difficult to close that gap. Despite the electric cell being so minus, it's mm -hmm. still so safe. Yeah, as long as you have Cyrax behind you. Look, <laughs> MK1, actually, now that I think about it, has made this statement we all joke about. If you believe hard enough, everything you press is plus. Well... With Cyrax in your corner, you are so correct. <laughs> like, too, like, regular electric cell without Cyrax backing you up, it's still just very difficult to punish. There's some yeah. opportunities to do it, it's just very few characters can even do it. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's too far between, so we'll see how the answer comes in. And we said it earlier. I know I was saying it was like a cliche statement to make just because it looked like it could be one. Well, we get exactly what we were looking forward to. It is a game five between two of Mexico's best reps so far. Chuleta and Payne trying to see which one of them gets that matchup against Just Nasty's insane smoke and Grant. One, two, not prepared for it. Oh, misses out on the follow up on one, two, but doesn't matter. He still gets the throw. Massive life leap, 50% plus. Okay, that is three for three on hats. It has not been very rare that Shulet has just taken multiple of those. So that's, I mean, you, you take that every day to the bank if I'm paying. So I'm, I'm sensing some, uh, not. Like, kind of impatience if he's constantly getting hit by that. Ooh. Hold this. Too far for the three. It's, it's still crazy. Okay, the dive kick closes it. But at any given moment, I, I'm just so scared. Because Shuleta's damage output is so good and his pressure game so good. That even in those spots, he can very much bring it all the way back. This is the last possible shot you have at that, maybe. You are on round set point. If you do not bring this to that round three, it is over, and this is a good start. Ooh, empty jump into the low. Oh, we haven't really seen that too much. He has to break. Actually, not even so much has to break. I'm kind of surprised he broke that early, but he yeah. just does not want him to have it. No, not at all. I mean, look at that. You're already at 50%, so that's a grip of damage here for Loud to lose. I spend the two bars on that. Oh, what an interrupt right there on the low. I like the Shaolin Shimmy there, too. To guarantee you get screen, uh, every every time he's done just the raw teleport, he's been punished for it. So teleport is pretty much off the table. One, two. One, two. Oh, keep punching. There's no reason to not, man. The freaking 2-1 pressure is just so nuts. 1-2 going for the full combo as well as nuts. There's a safe rock string pressure, but... Done. 
what we said before, man. Shuletica bring it back all the way. And now, it's time. Last hit. But, uh, excuse me. Last round. Game number five. Also, yes, I did say Shaolin Shimmy because that move is quite literally called the Shaolin Shimmy. I think it's hilarious. Take to the sky. Electric fly. Right. Half Ooh. health back two. He's got almost one bar. He is about to build that bar. You cannot get hit here. There's your net. Nice. Not able to get the confirm though. That's unfortunate. Oh, you're done. That's it. He's not dropping this any day of the week. That's gonna be Shuleta who knocks out Pains, denying him the rematch against just nasty and grand it's going to be smoke versus raiden for your grand finals happening tomorrow we got a lot more action of course there's a lot more that happens at tns we'll talk about it after grands because right now zero it's time final round of the night potentially two as we get ready for just nasty does he finally take one home or does he not in the hold go cameo that's a first we're seeing here what is happening Bro, does he All get right, access so to Electric Cage? If he steals that, what kind of block string pressure does he get? Yo, that, I've never wrapped my head around this, so I'm about to see what happens here. I'm so stoked to see this. Or two. Some situation here. Knocked out Shujinko. All right. Well, trying to set up Shujinko instead takes half health. That is not what you want to see. And so far, Shujinko has been just completely invalidated oh, no. to start. So, uh, just nasty picked the wrong camp. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. I see it in the chat. I see it. Okay. It's all right, though. He's going to try to make it work. All right. Well, I nice okay. Accidental pick. Let's see if he does make it work indeed. Like I say, after this round, he will be able to switch even if he wins. If you're on the nice. winner's side, you still get to switch. I mean, this is a start. You're down back two. Got the knockdown. Ooh. I yeah, got the flawless, but wasn't able to open up right there. That's what we were looking for. Nice. Right. Mrs. Vapor to close the gap, but unfortunately, the back four, three punish. Yeah, not letting that happen whatsoever. I'm armoring through. I'm not letting you constantly fish his vapor cancel in front of me. That's just not going to happen. Teleport right there that we got from uh, Shinjunko there. Jerry? Right now, he, uh, I mean, a teleport out of the corner would be nice, but definitely not when you're going to be able to find. Bro, that breaker, he just comes out and just drops the meanest nice. hook. <laughs> yeah, that was actually insane, too. The jump in. Two. Does get a pickup here. Yeah, just keeps it simple for a knockdown. Nice little 150. Okay. Even if you get out of that, doesn't matter. Even if you get caught in Cyrex, it's pretty easy to confirm or go for the charge to get you into the corner. Just Nasty actually gets corner out of that. Doesn't matter, though. Shulet is still poking. Oh, nice. 4-4. Four, four. A little bit of an interrupt here. Electric cell to get the space. Nice jumping again, but unfortunately block pushes you forward. Nice opening with the back, too. All right. We have one bar. So if you get a hit from this point, you could definitely close out the round. It's just about finding it. And there's that down one, not letting him do any of that nonsense. Yep. A moment Vicious Vapor appears. You have nothing to lose if you go for that down one because you get the interrupt on the Vicious Startup. And even if it's back two, that's going to catch on the air. You get the opportunity for a uh, you know, full combo after as well. Yep. It's so unfortunate uh, that he did accidentally pick the wrong cameo. So I'm sure we will be taking a trip to the character select screen to remedy that ASAP. Uh, one of the things that is a very difficult thing to deal with when you're raided is not having characters who help you get in and back up your uh, your pressure. That's why we've been seeing so much loud. And, oh uh, yeah, I see. Okay, I see why he might have misinputted that. They're literally right next to each other. <laughs> we will, with but he's gonna go to Serena instead. Master. He's actually not gonna even go to the Lao. He's gonna go back over to the original tried and true frame. Fight. Right. Want. Simple. You gotta respect this pressure so you know it's coming. Nice! Got the reversal from uh, Serena as well. Good stuff. 
air to air it does not connect the way we want to honestly out of the air to air game i would say that smoke is the better of the two yeah especially if you get a good read off of it and you get a full uh get a full carry uh and just the way that i mean we've seen it how many times has just nasty like confirmed off of single blade from serena his preparation on those is so good Two, full corner carry. Go for knockdown. Oh, goes for uh, cross up setup instead to maybe go for. Yeah, he wanted to set up for uh, invisible setups. But honestly, I respect that entirely. Just charge your way out, tackle, yeah. get away from any of the invis so you do not need to block that. That's going to be tough. You get full screen invis, and now you have to guess exactly where smoke is. <laughs> The one who is not invisible doesn't need to care. Nice back to confirm. We'll be able to close this out. 100% agree. Uh, also, just to confirm on uh, something I was curious about before, he only gets teleport and the electric ball from Shujinko. Bro, let Shujinko steal the electric cage, okay? Like, if he can steal Cell... Let me grab the cage. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I would absolutely be playing a lot more Shujinko if I could take something like that away. Oh, good empty jump though. Waking up and uh, getting aggressive with it. He's pretty. He does that sparingly, but when it does hit, he, it always trips someone up. Shout out to Yuri Kong, by the way, in the chat. Go. Walking back. Just as she sees the entire world when he gets in biz. True enough. Also, I just feel like this is just. This is just like Christmas for you because you have both <laughs> you have both Smoke and Raiden here <laughs> in uh, Grand Finals. I think, I think you, 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 you picked some uh, some good characters there. Uh, look, look at kind of nice. Oh, you did not you did not just let him stand <laughs> just stand one foot that many times in a row. It's tough. It's tough. I'm telling you, it's so scary. Nice back too. Oh, actually, you're done. Dragged it down to the perfect window. Do not get. Do not get crazy with this. Simplicity is key. Fatal Blow mm -hmm. takes the round. And that evens it up. So there was that first round with the Shuchinko oh, pick. On. It is unfortunate. Well, wait, hold on. No shot. No shot. No yeah, shot. Oh, yeah. oh. You played the mini game and you live. But the anti air, and no mini games to be played. Good game. All right. Well, question mark kill indeed. Uh, not it. But he still got the jump in. So he's able to keep himself in the, the lead. And again, for anybody who's curious, or maybe it's your first time who's ever been to one of these or ever viewed one of these tournaments, if you are on the winner's side of Grand Finals, you only need to win one first to three set. But if you are on the loser side, you have to win twice because you have to knock the other player into the loser side. It is double elimination through and through. You must lose two sets to be knocked out out of a tournament. So well, yes, the cast is cursed, always hit. I did not! I did <laughs> do it! I did not! Oh, hey, Jax. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> it's not true! I did not curse it! I did not! <laughs> there we go, game number three. If anybody has seen the rune, I'm sorry, but also it's a great experience. Uh, for <laughs> game number three here, ooh, that's a mean throw. Right into the corner. Almost gets to stand one, too. Nice tech. Thanks, Serena, for taking the bullet for me. Appreciate it. The true homie, unfortunately, the, that bullet was not enough to, to answer the 43% he still ended up taking after. Jeez, yeah, let's drain this meter. Absolutely. Pressure, nice forward throw. I wouldn't be surprised to see another throw. He does that every once in a while. Yep, it, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> got to leave, but watch out for this armor. No, no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I feel like just nasty thought the same thing because we're full three now. <laughs> yeah, backing up, giving him range. Again, we talked about it before. Do not get too trigger happy in front of smoke. Not even just Serena, but that teleport on reaction will end this round. Absolutely, 16 seconds left here if we just pull this block. But not for too long because you know that chip is about to be real. Open up, my god. All right. And now and now he can back off. All he has to do is block oh, for him. Oh, oh, you, you, you oh, pressed. Three seconds you left. Pressed. No, it's over. It's over. He didn't get enough damage. Oh my god. I, the, the throw there. Again, another situation where the throw is fine. You get a hit confirm in the, uh, into Fatal Blow. It's not fine. So he kept calm. We're joking. Get away from his back, too. 
Nice Serena, but nothing doing here off the extent. Yo. You weren't ready. Bro, his throw game has been off way. And there, that's the same exact situation that happened last time. He backed through, he jumped, he whiffed the standing one. He did the same flow chart of trying to get out. Chulet has got to be very careful about doing that too often. Didn't fully commit that neutral jump. Still able to go for that jump too. Oh, down. Yep, that down one interrupt. Shut down the turn. If you're not actually hitting me with it, at some point, I'm going to be able to shut this down. 3-2, he's got the bar to spend. If he wants to go for the closeout, absolutely spend that cash. Do not leave anything on the table. It won't be enough, though. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Electric fly. We could just chill. Don't. Not like that. Okay. You can, you can chill for a little bit, but if you get hit one more time... That, that chill has to come to an immediate stop. Cyrex is at least gone now. Just, just cross block. Just cross block. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Without Cyrex available to him, he's. Uh, what, what's what's your answer? You're going to back to me four times in a row? Never move it again. <laughs> okay. Serena, single blade, not re not reacting, uh, like, it was a little bit too far away, but the amount of times we've seen him confirm off of single blade, I, I almost always expect them to get the combo. Got three, got the electric, okay. Goes for Serena to try to challenge here. No, backdashing the 4-4, four, four, immediate break. Perfect spacing on that, too. All right, now, now you, now you're in a, a weird position. You cannot afford to take... I like any big hits from Chuleta, but as long as you keep it your turn, you never have to really worry about that. He's gonna get the knockdown. 400 damage for that one. Play the chasing game here, try to force the walk in, but yeah, knew we were in trouble once the electric cell showed up. Back to, we're good. All right, trying to shimmy his way back to catch a whip punish, but he never gave it to him. Nice little job. First up, no meter for you. Yeah, drag that meter away, and once again, he removed Breaker from the picture, Whoa. but. I'm not, I'm not saying you're good, that. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Keep pressing. Keep pressing, Just Nasty. You're good. That extra 50 health came in clutch. I was curious about that. He has one. He has one. It's been out. He wins. He wins. Oh, he no, breaks. He okay. Win. He win. Okay. Not yet. Okay. He still had breakers. Oh, the, yep. You know what? Just go for it so you can get the hit. Look. That, that 50 health, above or below, it'd be you. making a difference. <laughs> I told you, I believe. I said, you it, know, it, all heard me. I said, press it. Keep pressing that X. You know you're going to live. I, <laughs> I purposely didn't kill you for drama for purposes. <laughs> I, I, Yo, you know what? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's for the show. For the show. I, re I respect you. You you know what? You I'm I'm dropping you a follow on Twitter after this because of that. I give you respect. You're you're funny. We got game number four. Potentially a reset, like we said before, with Chuleta on the loser side of bracket. That means if the win goes into their favor, they take it. Uh but if uh Just Nasty is able to take these next two, it is over. Jeez, the dance does begin. What is a Twitter? What I will still call it until the end of time. I refuse to call it the other thing. Yo, we were on the other side of the back too. The... All right. I want to interrupt here, but we're going to get this nice, beautiful back throw. Can we keep, keep the pressure up? It's not easy to want to do. Oh, finally going for the overhead string. You don't see that too often, but it does sneak its way in every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, it's, again, because you're trying to make the opponent forget it, right? Like, just don't think about these other things I can do. I'm only doing the ones that I want you to see. Yeah, just hitting you once and then teleporting. Then once and then teleporting. And then, and, oh, wait, uh, psych, I still have the ending four string to get the overhead. I like how we ended that early with the down four one just because we had the opportunity to go for break. There it is, the armor, electric fly. All right, did you get a full carry, a corner carry out of that? That's actually just barely missing the corner. 3-2 convert. He's setting it up, so it looks like he was maybe considering the idea of dropping him in that position, but instead just continues to get the damage. Oh, too far. Ooh. 
But how do these keep going so low on time? Yeah, he spends the bar to guarantee that he closes it. I like that because if he wakes up EX teleport and you guessed wrong, he takes that round instead. He did not just get that. He did not just close that out and then type that's wild, by the way, in the middle of the match. I, okay, hold up. <laughs> Real quick. I just saw shirtless Spider-Man and shirtless uh, Miles Morales running around. Spider-Man 2, there's your minus spoiler for me. <laughs> oh, nice. I should actually kill here if you're up. No, actually. Yeah, you're not. I didn't spend the meter there. You're all good. <laughs> Eddie Brock liked. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You know what? Maybe it's time to go play some Spider Man. All right. Right now. Uh, we got Just Nasty trying to keep himself in uh, in the winner side position. 4-4 four, four to keep himself locked down, but just Electric Cell while in the corner with no fear whatsoever? Okay. That's why I keep saying that smoke is just Peter Parker, everybody. Like, yo, you thought y'all thought I was joking? This is Peter Parker in a different timeline. I mean, hey, that's true. You're not wrong. He's also just as cheesy with his wind coats too, so it's the same damn dude. But there's smoke, there's fire. That's not the other one. Don't, we don't have fire power to smoke. Yeah, but... Yeah, but where the fire is, I'm there, bro. Fire, scorpion. And I, I'm there with, with scorpion, so there. <laughs> one nice chase. <laughs> Actually, a very good chase on that electric fly to go for the down four. Four out of five smoky the bears cannot stand this, man. We're gonna see the 4-3 uh, close out. Shuleta getting the reset for the drama, as stated. Uh, just, just just, so you know, could have ended it that much sooner. Well, like we said, reset time. One last round. No more time Wait after this. If, if Shuleta's not old enough to, to buy MK1, that means Shuleta can't compete in the pro competition, right? Do they have that rule? I didn't look I, into that. I actually don't know. Because they actually... had that rule for, uh, for Call of Duty, which was such a bummer. Because they had some good players that got gated out by that. I sure like hope not. I feel... Ooh, excuse me. But it would make sense if they did. But also, like... I well, that was before the Pro Tour, sure. though. Sonic was 17 when he started playing, then yeah, that's legal for Sonic to play MK. Get parental permission, have, a, have somebody come, like, come be a guardian or something, I don't know. Let them, let, let them play. Let, let the kid play. Too damn nice with it, as he's already got the Grand Finals reset here. Which, by the way, we're not even sure if that's actually a rule or not, so. Well, if somebody actually told me that, that'd be great to know. I know for sure, like, Call of Duty had that. You had to be 17 to play because it was an M-rated title. They didn't want minors playing. I know when's ECT. ECT is actually tomorrow. Uh, if the setup happened today, it'll be happening tomorrow, so make sure you keep it locked, tune in. Right now, these two are set, uh, setting a good precursor to the type of action we're going to be seeing all weekend for the first premiere event for MK's uh, World Tour. Jeez, bring that hat. Yeah, I think we're going to on this matchup here, but yo, of course, down four too. There's no escape. Right. Spider-Man, use your symbiote suit now! <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things wrong with that sentence. <laughs> then again, actually, to look, Tony Stark with the symbiote suit might actually be a problem. <laughs> I said Spider-Man. I thought, I'm not going to lie, you said it so fast, I thought I heard Iron Man. I I'm oh. tired. It's 12.40 in the morning. <laughs> right now, we got great action still happening. Not going to catch... Not, look, that's a hard uh, setup to block. Low hat into oh, yeah. jump in, very difficult to deal with on pretty much anyone. But that's why it's there. Oh, the low hat, and while falling, we get the jump button. I think that's the jump one. Let's go. Also, they should not be watching Invincible if they're underage. Like, that's kind of why it's rated. Let them play. <laughs> <laughs> Electric cell coming through. Damage building up quite 
quite often. Uh, Just Nasty is, uh, it's what we oh, talked about no. before, stamina, man. It is very hard to play that level of smoke that long throughout the night. I don't think stamina is becoming too much of a factor. I think Just Nasty is that good. But between Smoke and Raiden, one of these two requires less technical precision leading up to that. And I feel like Shiletta is just running hot right now. He is by no means whatsoever. Uh, like, he's playing great. So they might have the age rule, yeah. If it's a WB event, they'll definitely control it. But if it's not like a... Because you have to be 17 to play at M rated title. Ah. And that's what they did for Call of Duty. So I imagine they probably do the same for MK, which is a bummer. Okay, okay. Well, one day, one day, we will she... Uh, we, we will she... Oh, my God. We will see the great play from Shuleta at some of these uh, ma major uh, premier events because uh, there is a lot of talent to be had. Uh, you can see oh, yeah. it, like... Uh, you can see the play the the, the decision making is very good and most importantly i haven't really seen him slow down yet like there has not been much slowing down whatsoever Ooh, armor yeah immediate left fly there too but the armor come back too all right serena cash out two of them no actually we're just gonna uh, keep the one that way we can hold on to uh, uh for one still have the blade later oh doesn't lead to too many issues here because you already have him locked on the corner that however will lead to quite a few issues oh drop from cyrax okay rare very very rare drop on a combo from chuleta oh wow yeah should be a wrap this yeah no there there is no there is no guessing that one that one this is absolutely close out and just nasty he, we've seen it many times over I had to pause. I had to pause for a second. Because <laughs> he thought for sure it was going to live. Yeah. I, saw, I saw that health like, wait, nah, uh-uh, nah, nah. Say, <laughs> <laughs> Jam, going to have a field day with this tournament, man. <laughs> Down back to And the overhead. Yeah, commits to the 4-3 low. Or 4-3, rather. All right, good block up back to not get it. Yeah, stole, stole the turn away on that as well too. As soon as he got uh, the block on it, immediate electric cell gets corner out of it. Back two. Nice. Yeah, I think he was going for another one too, but he was not having it. Just nasty. He needs to make something happen here. He's in the lead. But we've already seen it multiple times over. Shuleta is perfectly, like, okay with dropping at least one round. Because he always brings it back. <laughs> Good patience. Like you said before, just crouch, just crouch block right now. He doesn't have you in the corner, so the likelihood of getting a big hit from combo is not too high. Take all this damage. He had enough, but now he can't afford to take any more. That 4-4, four, four, tough. Right. Let us try to go up potentially 2-0 here in the grand finals reset. Already won one set prior at three to one. Just nasty. I mean, it doesn't look like Just Nasty is actually like playing that much slower. It's just that Shuleta has been very good at checking the offense. Nice. Punish though. But yeah, that that's true. You really gotta be careful at checking uh um Spokes offense in general. Like you kinda have to. But this should kill here and does. One all. All right. One apiece. Golf claps. Golf claps in the chat. Golf claps, everybody. Great job. Great job. Great job all around. Great job. <laughs> uh, again, we we are uh, fast approaching the 1 a.m. portion of the East Coast night. But again, this is all precursor to what is going to be an incredible event going on this weekend. Um, I am so excited for it. I know I said earlier that my guess, uh, which without much reason to be Smoke challenged, uh, Raiden, Cyrax, I feel like could win, but at minimum, we'll see a couple at the top. I so I am just so curious to see what people are already lying and waiting. I've already seen quite a few posts just taking a uh, quick look at Twitter about people who've been uh, grinding casuals like all, all night, so in the hotel lobby. Get ready for some good stuff this weekend as we get ready to continue to set here in game number three. Nice. 
Nice. Back to overhead. There we go. No, we're gone. It wasn't there. <laughs> went for the back two with the low again, but still got the anti air pickup. And when in doubt, just keep neutral jumping. I hope for the best. I said, we out, bro. <laughs> that is, is, is not it. What? Oh, almost had it. There's a duck on the uh, stand two. There's another down one interrupt there. Careful staggers. Oh, already took to the skies there. That was just a late reaction. Yeah, keep it that good. Just try to keep him locked down is the big key, but I mean, Just Nasty has gotten very calm in the corner. Oh, that was a delayed hit, but he didn't spend the bar to get more damage. He just wanted to reset the situation. Yeah, that's tough. And you're gonna... Oh, nice. 4-4 four, four after the recall from the double pizzas. All right, one more hit. And oh, oh, from, yeah. I, from either side. Oh, no, this ain't no, hit. no, no shot. Yeah, that, that a very, very hard call that he tried to go for. Just nasty, not having anything to do with that. As deadly as the dawn. I'm not going. I'm making fun of him for that one, but I that that's actually kind of a cool line. I, I'm also a cheese ball. <laughs> I, I won't even act like I didn't think I was cool. <laughs> Oh, he was ready for it, too. He actually, you saw it. He was getting ready to get the stand one out, but I actually forced the break instead because he didn't get him on his teleport. Got that duck. So on the overhead here. Nice pickup, but didn't commit because we thought we weren't going to get the open. And that's what's so scary again about this vicious vapor cancel. You're not ready for the uh, confirm. Sometimes you get so into the block string flow chart because you have to constantly cancel that you don't, you just don't on reaction call off the hit. It's more of a read almost. Yeah. All right, there we go. Keeps it real simple because we got the Serena back up. Max damage. And that's a fatal blow to finish it out. Or actually doesn't even go for it. Instead decides to confirm into the full string combo. You know what? Not only for the brutality, just the guarantee the brutality, but also I kind of like the idea of just guaranteeing the full combo because you don't take the challenge of having the, the the fatal blow scale too hard. Right, yeah. All right, well. Keep distance. She won lead right now for Just Nasty, but still anyone's game here the way that this has been playing. Yeah, what a work of art. This man just carves out the entirety of his brain and just tosses it. like just... And blows it up with the smoke bomb. Just immaculate, immaculate work. And also, speaking of a work of art, Just Nasty is just that with Smoke. This is the first potential chance that we might be seeing Smoke take over one of the TNSs. He got close before. It was in his grasp. And then last week, fourth place, Just Nasty is always just out of reach. But will this finally be the time where he's able to reach up to that top podium and actually snag the trophy for one of these W's? Your time will tell. Already got that forward throw. Oh, catches him pressing on wake up. Put an early drop right there. He let him for the first time in a while. Usually he's pretty good about uh, like safe defensive option. Wake up! It seems like he's not. Okay, he's he's recouped. It's breaker for positioning, saying no. I'm you, you're not getting out of this corner. Stagger mm -hmm. got the flawless there, but unfortunately not where we want to. Nice air to air. I was actually really good. It was unfortunate that he couldn't follow up. Uh, and like after after catching a hit, maybe he just assumed it'd be a trade. This pressure, no interrupt from a down one here whatsoever. Just nasty. Finally finding an opening here. And he had double Serena available for that too. He was able to build one bar. Right there, yeah, yeah. We could definitely stand one this. Yeah, that's all he needed. And take your la indeed take your last breath. Take a deep breath right now, because Just Nasty is one individual round away from potentially getting his first TNSW. No. Well, too far away for the back four, but we definitely got this air-to-air -air combo, that's for sure. 
Let's see if Shaletta has something to say about that again. Like, you're talking about just uh, catching him on the jump in, but it's been a little while since Shaletta's been able to find, like, a safe hit confirm. And that is a very rare occurrence to say. Most of the time, it's just been his turn. No, opened up a little bit too early. Nice, we got the back two confirmed. Full routing here on Serena. Get breaks. We're in biz. Hey, one more call. Wake up down two. Will it be enough to find himself an opening to push this to another round? Yeah, not opening up whatsoever. We could block all day. He has refused the. Oh no! He never sent it into the. Oh, he catches him on the teleport into down one, though. He still gets the job done. He kept waiting and waiting, but he never once sent Raiden out to go for black string pressure. Maybe he was looking to try and flawless block it to try and get his turn, but that never happened. I didn't do nothing. What do you mean, Fruity? <laughs> I just said, oh no. <laughs> well, it's uh. We're almost there. It might it might happen. We'll find out if Shuleta is able to force a game five. He burns the bar to get that much more damage. The no. shimmy back gets on a forward four. You have yeah. to break. Yes, he's got the break here. Serena coming through. Yeah, he send this to the full strength. In the side switch, push him over to the corner. He doesn't have any bar left though, so it's yeah. all entirely on guessing right on his mixes. Does he go for back two? He is. Doesn't have to worry about it. Doesn't have to worry about it at all. Like, Truletta just has the whole block, and whatever you end with, it's going to be all Raiden's turn. Not dead yet, but there it goes. Two all in the set. Yep, guaranteeing that when he wakes up, the trade will happen no matter what by laying out the carpet and showing him the way out the building. Now. Why did so you close. One? Why did so, you down one? So goddamn close. What it just... But, Don't down one. But it's not <laughs> just had a block. It's almost there. All you had to do was block. You had 30 seconds. You had a block. Does he go with Lau or does he stay on Serena? He's gonna stay on Serena. It's been a wonderful night, chat. It's been a great time with all 1,200 of you who've pretty much been sticking out through the whole time. But we have one final match. It is done here. Grand Finals reset game number five. One of these two finishes the entire tournament as the winner right now. And that's Shuleta starting things off with the back two. Rip already 50%. Oh, we send it. So I said, I gotta play Spider Man 2 and just install, gosh darn it. Yeah, there we go. Armor down back too. Right. Just nasty, you're able to take his turn back over here, at least in the corner, but the big thing is refusing to let Shaletta out of the corner. You cannot let that happen. The shove. I like that. Honestly, I really respect that because Ooh. at that point, what are you gonna do? You just keep down wanting so you guarantee you stop the block string, and once that's down, you just all you need is just to get chip. That's it. He was too close to be able to afford anything else. That's a break. That was a very good back tip. Another one confirmed. Oh, but dropped. Still gotta throw. Be so careful. It's nice. Confirm on the teleport. No! Did. Just commit to the route! Just ask Oh, me no. Finish. That's huge. That could, like, enforcing him to have to drop nice. that and blow his breaker at that point, too, because he didn't want to let it go. He's got double Serena, so the damage... Well, actually, just one. He's got the damage. Okay. Full screen. Try to go for the stand one ant here. Nice! That's a confirm. All right. Oh, my God. Serena in the forward four. We couldn't have asked it for any other way. Game five, reset, but also last round. Opening gambit is throw. Full screen situation, forcing Shuleta to make the approach here. Have to bar. Nice, that's a throw. All right. Serena is available still, so you have to be careful if you decide to zone. He might try to go for it. And that's nice. exactly what he goes for, but he's a little bit too late on the electric yeah, cell. Yeah, yeah. Nice low, able to block the cell. Yeah, keep patient here. Yep, stay calm, stay cool, stay collected. That is now both uh, Cyrax is gone. Yes. Shuleta now has to be forced to just play straight up nooch. Yeah, 
That's the important to back to. No confer, but reset into throw. Cyrax still off the table right now, but plenty of meter here for Shuleta. That is half out guard. He's reading it right away. He just oh, no. took, bro, the raw drain just took away Breaker. That's actually huge. Yes. Like he's building it back up. Okay, he got Breaker back. All right, this is 50%. Oh no, wait, doesn't have Cyrax. Uh, Five mistake. Never mind. He's got the bar. He's got a break. It's guess for game now. If he gets put into a block straight, back two is no. getting it blocked. Oh. oh okay. Full screen situation here still. A fatal blow away from yep. victory here. This is fatal blow hit confirm into close out, oh, no! but he's put into the lockdown. He walked up so close and he gets the block string chip that he needs. And Shuleta stops Just Nasty from getting his very first W. And Mexico coming out one more time to not only showcase how good they are, but yet another young all-star on their way up. Shuleta with the W here tonight for TNS number six.